Hotep, Hotep, my name is Lord Yukili Osai, Lord Yukili Osai, I want to welcome you back to 13 Cosmic Law, Astrology, and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light for some more information and light codes, alright, now, um, of course I'm on my Beethoven game, that's Beethoven in the background, classical music, I'm on my Beethoven game right now. Told y'all I was finna start doing a lot of videos with the Beethoven. You know what I'm saying? A lot of videos with the Beethoven and shit just to stimulate different, act, activate and stimulate different dimensions of your brain. Of your brain and it also to help build paradigms. You listen to, to, to Beethoven and help build paradigms. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, I dropped two very, very important videos on you. You know what I'm saying? The you. The power of your you and how you got to reprogram your you. And I did another video that I dropped on you. And um, and that video was basically, um, that video was basically, um, it was called, um, what's the name of that video? The name of that video is Create Your Own Worlds, Paradigms, and Mini Mansions, Light Codes, Goddess Creators by Elohim. Very important video. Those two videos, if you haven't checked them out, check them out. Now, um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about, um, this is for all of the artists. This is information for all of the artists. If you are a Merkaba light worker and, and you're into art, graffiti, you know what I'm saying, and artwork and stuff like that, and um, then basically what I want to tell you is I want you to incorporate, you know, like um, the Reiki symbols, Reiki healing. Go to Google Images and type up Reiki, Reiki healing symbols and use those, those sigils, those symbols of Reiki. Use those symbols and incorporate them in your artwork. And because that's how you're going to get on the right side of energy. That's how the universe is going to start responding to you more. If you start putting those, those, those Reiki symbols in your artwork, you can even hide them in your artwork. Just hide it in there. You know what I'm saying? And another light code I want to give you is... Um, another light code I want to give you... Let me see. Another light code I want to give you is... Um, I want you to get you a uh Hold on one moment. Now the powerful light card I want to give you is go and get you right go and get you go to google images go to google images right and type type in when you get to google images type in malachine alphabet m a l a c h i m malachine alphabets all right, Malachim alphabets. When you get those alphabets, those those alphabets represent different dimensions. Those alphabets are also healing alphabets. Those are those are light codes. Those are keys to contacting angels. Each one of those alphabets, you know what I'm saying, are actually that's the actual language of fire. That's the language of fire. All right. Each one of those sigils are the language of fire. Each one of them, they're the language of fire. So remember that. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're the language of, of fire. And um and also they're the those are the actual sigils of angels. Each one of those sigils are angels. So that's what you want to do. You want to go, you want to get you, you know what I'm saying? You want to go to Google Images, type up Malachim Alphabets. You know what I'm saying? M-A-L-A-C-H-I-M Malachim Alphabets. When you get those alphabets, print those alphabets off. Incorporate those sigils, you know what I'm saying? Incorporate those sigils in your um in your actual artwork. Just hide it in there sometimes. Just hide it in your artwork. And watch how amplified your shit take off. Yo, 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 your art is gonna start selling because once you get on the right side of energy, once you get on the light side of energy, and once you get the universe behind you, then you become like a strong magnet that just attracts all kind of people to you. So that's what, it, you know what I'm saying, the two little light codes I want to give you right there. You know what I'm saying? And also, you know, um, 
Um, I also want to remind you, never bite the hand that feeds you. Never bite the hand that feeds you. I don't give a fuck. If you start biting the hand that feeds you, then basically, you know what I'm saying, you're not showing homage. And that's how you're going to get on the wrong side of energy. So respect your elders. You know what I'm saying? Respect your ancestors and respect your animal totems and respect your uh, the light workers. And don't get caught up in the white and black shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a, 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 a deck of tarot cards. It's called Love and Light Angel Cards. Right? And these particular, um, this particular tarot, I got this from Bars and Nobles, by the way. But this particular tarot card deck doesn't actually show like angels in human form. They show like sigils of angels in different colors and stuff like that and sacred geometry. But there's another uh, angel deck tarot card that I have that has um, so-called white looking people, right? But you can't get caught up in the white and black shit because that's the matrix. You know what I'm saying? Like for somebody else that's like that's this like filled with a lot of ethnical anger, they might be like, oh, why they always put white people on the tarot cards? Why they don't never put black people or Asian people on the on the tarot cards or Indian people? Look, man, first of all, the Palladians are white, so-called white looking. And those are the that's the nearest uh uh star system here in in, in, in this universe. That's close to the earth. The Palladians are your friends. The Palladians, who you think taught me? The Palladians taught me everything I know. They taught me a lot of what I know. The Palladians, they came and got me and took me to Palladians. They came and got me and took me to different star systems and shit that they have alliance with. The Palladians taught me. That's what it's going to teach you. You can't get caught up in the white and black shit. Because look, it might look like the characters are white on the tarot cards, right? You might look at the tarot cards. And it might look like they white, right? But you gotta you gotta realize, beloved, that 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 these beings are light beings. They're they're full of all kind of light particles, light kind of accelerated neurons, accelerated light beings. So when they appear in a human form, they rarely appear in a human form. But if they appear in a human form, they're gonna look white. Why? Because they're pure light. They're pure light beings. Same like if like like your color, you getting caught up in the color of the body. Just because the a person got white color skin don't mean they ain't got melon. They still got melon. They just got a white color skin. That shit don't mean nothing. Don't get caught up in the body. Get caught up in the spirit. That's why in your Bible it tells you try the spirit by the spirit. If the person has a, a right spirit, a a a a, a, a peaceful a angelic spirit, then that's the being that is kindred to you. All that other shit, it don't matter about what color they are. And then, look, don't get caught up on the race thing. Oh, my, my, my ethnical group is not represented in these tarot cards, so I don't want nothing to do with it. Or my ethnical group is not represented in this painting, so I don't want nothing to do with that artwork. Man, fuck all that stupid ass shit. Don't nobody care about that dumb ass shit. If you're still thinking like that, then that means that you're very immature and you have a lot of growing to do. Because this shit is cosmic. And it don't really give a, it doesn't fucking matter what color. It doesn't matter. What matters is the spirit. I don't give a fuck if you this tall. You can be this tall and red. You can be this tall and all the way red. But if you got a good spirit, then I'll hug you and kiss you. You know what I'm saying? And I'll sit down and have dinner with you. You can be this motherfucking tall and all the way black. And be an evil ass motherfucker. And I'll be trying to banish your shit. I'll be trying to cut your head off. Why? Because, because try the spirit by the spirit. It don't matter what fucking color. Don't get caught up in the color of the skin. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? When I when I get tarot cards, this is another uh, tarot card. This is uh, the mythical tarot. When I get tarot cards and shit, and the beings happen to be white, so-called white, I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't give a fuck about the, the I don't give a fuck about that shit. Because the Palladians are white. And somebody messaged me talking about, oh, how do you feel about white people? And you always talk about the white Palladians and all that. Look, man, first of all, bruh, dude, whatever your name is, dude, don't come to my channel with that shit. Because I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because, because some of the, the best people in the world is so-called white. You know what I'm saying? 
that, that shit don't matter to me. I don't give a fuck what color skin you are. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite people in the whole entire world is Z Infinity. Z Infinity. And he, and he got a so-called white color skin. He ain't white, but you would call him, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about that white and black shit. Hold on. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Hmm. Oh, it's, um, it's, hello? Oh, so you can hear him? Oh, I, oh, I just got back in the room. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so, so basically what I'm saying, right, is that I don't really care about the white and black shit. The white and black shit don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? You can't get caught up in the white and black shit. You got to get caught up in the spirit. Try the spirit by the spirit. Somebody messaged me and was talking about, oh, well, you know, um, somebody messaged me and was talking about, oh, well, how do you feel about carcassoids? How do you feel about, you know, you always talk about the Palladians and this and that. First of all, I ain't talked about the Palladians in a long time, but if I do, so what? The Palladians help me. Those, those, the Palladians have helped me. Listen, when you come into the fifth dimension, the very first beings that's going to approach you are the Palladians. You're going to be approached by the Palladians first. Those are the first light beings who are going to approach you. They're about nine, sometimes 11, sometimes 15 feet tall. You know what I'm saying? And, and they're white. And you're going to be taught by a white, by, by a white Palladian, a so-called white Palladian. They're going to be male and female. They're going to teach you everything of the cosmos. Everything in the universe is going to be, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be taught all of this stuff. So I don't get caught up in the in the, in the white black shit. Because you will become white. As you as you accelerate, as, as you amplify and you accelerate and you crystallize, you become white. You know what I'm saying? Even though it, it, it's, it's, it's what's up and down. Your skin will become darker, but your spirit become lighter. You know what I'm saying? Your skin would become darker. You would get more melanin in your skin, but you would become more whiter, more lighter. And then when you, and listen, and when you ascend, ascension is when your spirit comes out of your body. It just comes out of your head. When it comes out of your head, I don't give a fuck what color skin you got. When it come out of your head, that that your body, your astral body or your lucid body is white. It's, it's pure spirit. It's, it's an angelic spirit. Like, let me show you. These are some of the pictures I got on the Ascension. Like, look at this man right here. Kneeling down, and then the, 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 the spirit is rising. And then see this? See that white right there? That's how you'll become. I don't give a fuck. It. Look, look at him right here. He black right here. He look brown or something. Then he green, yellow, you change colors and you amplify, but you become white. You become a white being when you when you become a light body. That's what it is. You become a light body. That's what this is all about. That's what ascension is all about. You become a light body. You become a light being. That's why we're called Merkaba light workers. You know what I'm saying? Because we're children of the light. I don't get caught up in the white and black shit. When every, every time somebody gets to talking that white and black shit, Every time somebody get to talking that white and black shit, they're promoting evil. You can't let nobody promote evil. You can't let nobody promote evil. You got to protect your shit. You know what I'm saying? So I want to share that with you. When people get to talking that separatism shit, they're trying to create a division. And that's the old, that's the oldest tactic in the book, divide and conquer. If you divide the people up and got them all black and white and you divide them up, then you can conquer them like that. Nah, I don't 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 let nobody get to th preaching that separatism shit. Don't let nobody preach that separatism shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody preach that separatism shit. You gotta you gotta stay focused at the task that's at hand. Don't let nobody get you caught up in that matrix. That's a matrix. Racism and all of that, that's a matrix. You'll be fighting the black and white battle 
and you ain't even fighting your real battle. You ain't even actualizing your purpose. You ain't even fulfilling your actualizing your potential so that you can fulfill your contract, fulfill your purpose in life because you're getting caught up in the black and white thing. Don't get caught up in the black and white thing. Don't let nobody get you put up in that matrix. That's a that's a paradigm. That's a that's a, a mansion that they'll trap you in. Remember the last video I talked about how we're creators and we create mansions? In my in my mother father's house, there's many mansions. Don't get in, don't go into that house. You you're supposed to conquer these different houses. That's what we are. We're we're travelers. We're more navigators. We're travelers. And we go into different houses, different realms, and we defeat the shit. We go in there, we learn little shit. You know what I'm saying? And we defeat it. Don't go into the racism house and get stuck there. Go into that house and defeat that shit. Learn what you can about that. Get the get an energy and then defeat that house and just keep traveling. Listen, as a more navigator, I've been in many houses. I burned down many houses. That's why in the in the in that old song, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't give a fuck. Let that motherfucker burn. Burn, motherfucker, burn. Yeah. I done went into so many different houses and set that shit on fire. The roof on fire, let it burn. That was a that was an unconscious attempt to say, listen, when you go into a house that's demonic, burn that shit. You know what I'm talking about? If you watch that video, you know what I'm saying? That that we're creators and that, you know what I'm saying, in my father's house, there's many uh matches. It's called Create Your Own World Paradigms are many Paradigms are many matches, light codes, goddesses, creators by Elohim. Watch that video. When you go into a house, I done been in sex houses. I done been in gambling houses. I done been in racist houses. I done been in um, hate houses, murder houses. I done been in so many different houses. Paradigms, paradigms, houses. And, and, and learned what I needed to learn and burnt the shit up. I done been in so many different realms, so many different dimensions. And learned what I needed to learn and burnt the shit up. You gotta set fire to stupid shit like that. Don't get caught up in the racism. Don't get caught up in the us against them. The only us against them. The only us against them is us defeating the wounded beast. That's it. Us killing that wounded beast. Taking the word elite back. I'm an elite. You're the elite. We're gods. We're goddesses. I call you God. I call you goddess. Why? Because you know thyself. The only shit that you're supposed to be concerned about is the punk ass motherfuckers is calling themselves the governments. Them the, the wounded beast that we're slaying. Fuck them. They ain't the governments. We the governments. Them, them the only people that you should be worried about. That's the only us against them. All of that other shit, they got us fighting each other. I'm not fighting you. I don't care what color your skin is. God is a spirit. That's what the Bible says. God is a spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Listen, if you got a right spirit in you, I'm going to worship you. In other words, if you got a right spirit inside of you, then we can we can share energy. That's what worship is, is sharing energy. Listen, every time I give a shout out to Lord Natu 13, Z Infinity 13, Kev Moore 13, Bertie Rodriguez 13, Dragonfly Z 13, you know what I'm saying? Uh... Dragonfly Z Immortal 13, you know what I'm saying? Uh 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 Maria, Maria Throw Grenades at the Devil 13. Every time I give shots out to Soul L by Bay 13, T Guns 13, you know what I'm saying? Uh 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 um um you know what I'm saying? Astral Soul Sin 13, Astral Boo Baby 13, all these different uh beings. You know what I'm saying? Uh, gods and goddesses that's out there. Every time I give shots out, uh, Kishi 32, 13. You know what I'm saying? Goddess Lula Bell, 13. Every time I give shots out to different um, beings that's out there, right? Then basically what hap what's happening is that, you know, um, what's happening is that, um, what's happening is that when I get these shots out, that's a form of worship because I'm giving energy to them. You know what I'm saying? God is a spirit. You can't look at the flesh. God is a spirit. You got to look at the spirit. That's why in the Bible it says, try the spirit by the spirit. You got to try the spirit to see if it's a right spirit. See if it's a, you know what I'm saying, test it. Test it. Don't be, look, you can love somebody, but don't confuse love with being naive. 
I can love you, but motherfucker, I'm not finna, I don't choose none of your ways. I love you, but I choose none of your ways. I love you, but we can't walk with each other. We can't commune with each other. Why? Because in the Bible it says, how could two walk with each other unless they are in agreement with each other? I love you, but I just can't walk with you. We can't be on the same path because you're in the kingdom of darkness and I'm in the kingdom of light. I'm building this kingdom of light and you in the kingdom of darkness right here. I got to smash those shit. I can't hold on to you and build this kingdom and still hold on to you. I got to smash this shit. How could two walk with each other unless they are in agreement with each other? So you can love somebody, but don't be naive. Love is not, love doesn't mean that you got to turn the other cheek and let them smash on you. Love is an eye for an eye. I love you, but if you continue to, to cross my boundaries, I got to protect myself. I got to love me before I love you. I can't love you more than I love myself. I can't love you so much to where I let you defeat me because I love you. I love you. Look, you can't love your enemy. If your enemy is your enemy, your enemy is your enemy. You got to destroy. Like in the 48 Laws of Power, Robert Greene said, when you destroy, you destroy everything. You can't love your enemy. Don't confuse being uh, loving with being naive or being foolish. I love you. But listen, I got to do this. It's for your best interest. When you come back next time, hopefully you'll come back a light worker. I got to kill you, though. I just have to. You know what I'm saying? So, so be mindful of that, all right? Be mindful of that. Try the spirit by the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Try the spirit by the spirit. Listen, because you got a lot of uh, beings, a lot of entities out there that look like wolves. They look like sheeps, but inwardly, they're like raging wolves. So I don't give a fuck what color skin. You can be black and, 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 and look like you, my brother, but inwardly, you're like a raging wolf. You might be white and look like my brother, but inwardly, you're a raging wolf. I don't give a fuck what color skin you are, because that's the matrix. They show up like they black just to get next to you, or they show up like they white just to get next to you. Don't get caught up in the race shit. Just because you black don't mean we cool, or just because you know a little slang, or just because we look like each other, that shit don't mean nothing. Just because you put a title on it, that shit don't mean nothing to me neither. You got to show and prove that you're worthy enough to be in my sphere of reality or else, you, look, I will banish your shit because in my sphere of reality, I, I'm the creator. I'm the creator. You can't create nothing in my sphere of reality. Nothing. Don't let people create in your sphere of reality. I had somebody the other day. I had somebody just today. He was like, oh, what's up, blood? I know you. Now, nah, you don't know me. Oh, you don't remember that time that you let me use the phone when you was coming out of this courtroom? Nah, I don't remember that shit. You can't create that in my in my in my sphere of reality. I don't remember that shit, blood. I don't know you. You might know somebody that look like me, but I'm not allowing that into my into my sphere of reality because first of all, I'm a, I'm I'm a whole different person. I'm a whole different name, which means I'm on a whole different wave. So if I was to say, yeah, I remember you, then everything. That all of that shit entailed back then is now accepted in my new wave. And, and I just created a new paradigm. I'm not allowing that energy to come into my new house. Get out of my house with that shit. I don't know you. I don't care about none of that shit just because you black and you got a little slang. That shit don't matter to me. Try the spirit by the spirit. Try the spirit by the spirit. Everybody can talk slang. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Look, evil is evil. And when it's evil, you got to banish it. You can't, look, look, these evil entities are not your friends. These motherfuckers want to kill you. They don't, they don't care about you. They want to kill you. Their only job is to deceive you. It says, it says in the Bible, it says Satan coming not but to steal, kill and destroy. But Christ's consciousness comes that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Look, evil's only purpose in life is to, is to, is to steal, steal your joy. Why? Because in the Bible it says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Steal your joy. Steal your relationship with, with other beings who are love and light. You know what I'm saying? Steal your, steal your happiness. Steal your, steal your virtue. Your ability to, to practice integrity. To be humble. To be patient. Steal your virtue. You know what I'm saying? Steal your holy grail, which is your sex, your private parts. Steal your intimacy. 
Steal everything. Steal your relationship with, with mother, father, uh, God, with the universe. Steal your relationship with the universe. Steal your energy. Evil coming out, but to steal, kill, and destroy. Kill you. They want to kill. Look, evil wants to kill you. Evil wants to kill off all relationships with love and light beings. Evil wants to kill off all relationships with the universe. They want you to be on this black and white shit. Why? Because the, the so-called Anunnaki's are so-called black. And the so-called Palladians are so-called white. So if you hate, if you would embrace one, you hate the other one. Both of them is good. The Anunnaki's is the, the, the no, nobility. You Look, I'm, I'm Palladian. I'm Palladian and I'm Anunnaki. They, they both was responsible for engineering me. I have both of those DNAs inside of me. So if I hate black, if I hate so-called white people, then I'm basically hating Palladians. And then I'm cut off from being a dream worker and manifesting my dreams. If I hate the Anunnaki, then, you know what I'm saying? Then I, and if I hate so-called black people, then I hate the Anunnaki. And then I'm cut off from being noble, from being a king or a queen that I am. So I don't get caught up in that racism shit. You can't get me caught up in that shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. That's a matrix. I destroyed that paradigm. I'm cosmic. When you start getting cosmic, man, you try the spirit by the spirit. That's why in the Bible it says, and you will know a tree by the fruit that they bear. For a good tree can only produce good fruit, and a bad tree can only produce bad fruit. For a good tree can neither produce bad fruit, nor can a bad tree produce good fruit. Therefore, you should know a tree by the fruit that they bear. Period. Then when you look in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 and talk about the bad fruit. And the bad fruit is jealousy, envy, hatred, wild partying, blood sacrifice, gossiping. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 sex orgies and all that stupid ass shit. Low vibrational shit. Lying. You know what I'm saying? Deceiving, treachery, and the likes. In which I tell you that all those who exhibit these fruits, these 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 behaviors will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. They can't come into the Christ consciousness like that because they're dealing with their lower senses and their low vibrational consciousness. They're on their lower consciousness. They ain't on their higher consciousness. They ain't dealing with Christ consciousness. They say, but surely I say unto you, those who produce these fruits are, are welcome into the kingdom of heaven. They can come into their higher senses. They can come into their higher state of consciousness. Why? Because he said, these are the nine fruits. You know what I'm saying? Love peace in which I'm going to replace peace with completion. I don't want to give you a piece of joy. I want to give you the complete joy. I don't want to give you a piece of happiness. I want to leave you with complete happiness. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to give you a piece of my love. I want to give you all of my love. So love, completion, joy, right? Gentleness, kindness, uh, patience, faith, um, faith, self-control, you know what I'm saying? And a, and a strong will. In which I tell you, all those who produce those fruits are allowed to come into the kingdom of heaven. So therefore, try the spirit by the spirit. Look at the, the fruit that they bear. Look at their behavior. Look at their actions. Look at their attributes. Look at their words. Look at their, you know what I'm saying? Pay attention to people. Because people are, are, are they look like sheep, but inwardly they're raven as wolves. I gave you the metaphysics of sheep. Sheep is, is a metaphor. It's symbolic that represents people who look friendly. They look, these is people who can be your family members, co-workers, you know what I'm saying? Um, 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 uh, uh, church attendees, you know what I'm saying? Pa even pastors, I don't give a fuck what title you put on it. Uh, it. You look like a sheep, you look like a friend, you look like somebody that's friendly, somebody that I can trust and get along with. But inwardly, you're a ravenous wolf. I'm not finna let you tear me to pieces. So therefore, you got to be wise, beloved. That's why it says in the Bible, cast not your pearls amongst wine, nor give what is holy to the dogs. Every time you read in the Bible and they talk about the dog and talk about it said dogs, it always is it, dogs in, in Christian theology is a reference or a terminology that, 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 that uh, they use in reference to explain demonic energies. Give not what is holy to the dogs. Give not what is holy to the demons, to the to evil ones. God, G-O-D, means Gamora Azdabar, which is a representation of beauty, wisdom, and strength. That's what Gamora Azdabar means, beauty, wisdom, and strength. God, upside down, spelled backwards is dog, which is the, which is the representation of Siberius, who was in the Greek-Egyptian system. Siberius was the gatekeeper of hell. It was the dog with the many heads that guarded hell. 
It was the cat that came into that was interdimensional that went into hell and got those souls in freedom. So in Christian demonology, Siberius is now called Niberius. Same shit. He just changed the game, changed the different paradigm. He went from the from the Egyptian paradigm as Siberius to the to now the Christian paradigm, which is Niberius. Same shit. He's a dog. That's why they say when a man behaves bad, he's a dog. They call him a dog. And that's why when you fucking the pussy, which is good, they say it's the kitty cat. You fucking that cat. You like that, you like that fucking dick, huh? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm just I'm serious. I'm serious. That I mean shit, we're the adults. We can use, we can talk like adults. We ain't got a, a, a talk. We can have adult-like conversations. We can be mature about this shit. We can be real about this shit. That's why they say, oh man, he's a cool cat. I like that cat. What's up, cat daddy? Cat. Cats are interdimensional. Cats, it's so much science behind cats. Cats will take all of your evil energies away. If you sick and, and a cat comes into the room, the cat will absorb all of that energy, your sickness. Why you think old ladies have cats around them and shit? It's because they wisen up. Why you think they got old? Because when, when they got sick, the cat absorbed that. When they had demonic energies around them, the cat absorbed that. The cat takes the energy and acrylines it. It goes outside and gets rid of it. Cats are very interdimensional. That's why they can they look at it. They they look at a demon and scary. Demons are scared of cats. Why you think animals let you know what's going on before before you know what's going on? They know what's going on. Because they interdimensional. They see in the spirit realm. That's why when a tornado or something come, the animals will start coming and telling you. Cats is powerful. I'm a cat. I ain't a dog. And I love the cat. I eat the cat. Look. I eat pussy. I eat your cat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I eat pussy. I love pussy. I beat the cat up. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Don't get caught up in the race shit, man. Don't don't get caught up in the race shit. All right. And then don't don't. I don't care about racism. Look, I don't give a fuck. I try to spirit by the spirit. That's it. That's all. I don't care about a title. I don't care about a color. I don't care about none of that because all of that is a deception. This whole world is a, is a holographic reality. Everything is illusions in this world. In this realm, everything is an illusion. It's all about how great can you create your illusion? How great can you create your paradigms? Pick up a pen and start writing your shit down. I told you, you are a mead composition book. You are a thought that was in somebody else's composition book. You need to start creating your own thoughts. Write the vision down and make it plain. That's what it's saying in the Bible. That's what the Elohim told Jeremiah, the prophet. Write the vision down and make it plain. That's an esoteric secret right there. That's a passage. I'm giving you light codes and keys. Write it down. Make sure in your composition you in book you put Lord Eukelio Sai and save Lord Eukelio Sai. Save me. Keep me alive. Keep me immortal. So that I can keep coming back giving you these light codes. I love you. And I'm a firm believer that everyone has a right to see. Everyone has a right to know what's going on. So I kick these light codes all of the time to let you know that I love you, man. Listen, it's, it's simple. If you want to succeed in whatever business endeavors that you have, just get on the right side of energy. Get on the right side of energy and get on a light side of energy because the quarantine is up. If you still on darkness, then you, 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 listen, you need to get out of those contracts and come into these light contracts. Whatever you need to do to get out of the darkness to come into the light, that's what you need to do. Whatever you need to do, whatever kind of shit that you need to do, with, with, with as long as you ain't hurting nobody. Get up out of that shit and come to the light, man. Cause we winning. We 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 not we not we we turned up. We didn't turn our game up. Not, nothing is gonna stop us now. The quarantine is up, so it's all kind of access to all kind of, you know what I'm saying, light beings and all kind of stuff. I just did a little uh sun gazing the other day. And got all kind of light calls from Inky, the Anunnaki. Then I did some more sun gaze and got some more light calls from the Palladians. I'm filled up. It's time for you to turn your game up. It's 
So do whatever you need to do to get on the right side of energy, on the light side of energy. Whatever it is that you need to do. Whatever it is that you need to do. And don't get caught up in racism. I don't care what color you are. I only care what kind of spirit you got. Listen. Say, I mean, um, the snake had to get close to Eve in order to deceive her. So how did he do it? He did it in a way to where he appeared as being friendly. He appeared as being her friend. I don't care what title you got or what you look like. Titles and, and, and skin complexion and all of that shit is just a good way to get close to you. In order to deceive you. You can't get me caught up in that shit. I don't give a fuck what color you look like. I don't care what, how you talk, what you, how you dress. How you smell? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That shit don't entice me. You can't entice me. You can't trick me. I'm God. I'm God. I'm Lord Yukili Osai. Anu Ra Elohim Miramor El Sadai. Van Kim Akashic Goddess. I put the goddess on my name. Dealing with the feminine energy. I put the goddess on my name. I'm Van Kim, Akashic goddess. Super Nega God. More power, more light, more honor, more love. More conqueror. That scorpion God. Elemental God. All of those are my names. All of those names are frequency waves. All of those are vibrational frequencies and waves. I don't care what name or what you look like or none of that shit. You can't get close to me. The snake had to get close to Eve in order to deceive her. Eve had to get close to Adam in order to deceive him. You can't deceive me. You can't get close to me with a title or none of that shit. As soon as you say your name is this, I'm going to already know through numerology what your name, what kind of vibrational frequency your name carries. And then through, 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 you know what I'm saying? Through astrology and all of that shit, I'm going to already know what kind of person you are. What kind of being you are. I'm not. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't deceive me. You can't get close to me with that shit. And another thing. Be, look, stay away from the, from, from, the, from the deals and the bribes. That's how evil works. With deals and bribes. Trying to bribe you and create deals and shit. Stay away from all of that. That's why I tell you in the Bible, don't eat off of the king's table. Don't eat meat off of the king's table. Because the strings are attached to that shit. Stay away from the deals and the bribes. You can't, you can't bribe me. I'm not selling out. And another thing, stop giving your energy to these fake ass gods. Keep your energy. You are God. You are a goddess. You create your shit, man. Stop giving your energy to these gods. The motherfuckers up there. Look, you think that them gods up there give a fuck about you? They give a fuck about your body. They don't care about you. As soon as you start not caring about the body and you start calling yourself a god, then you become an enemy of them up there. Their survival up there is predicated on your ignorance and you stand down here. As soon as you try to evolve into a greater state of consciousness, then that's when you become an enemy. Do you know I've been going to war with all of the Satria gods and all of the Yoruba gods and all of that? I've been slaying the motherfuckers. Even some of the Greek guys, I've been slaying the motherfuckers. Why? Because as soon as I start kicking this God consciousness, as soon as I start saying that I'm Nephilim, as soon as I start saying that, you know what I'm saying, I'm God, it was a problem. As long as I was, you know what I'm saying, obedient and worshiping them, it was all good. The moment I start kicking this guy consciousness, waking up, realize, hold on, you just uh, 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 another being that was on earth that ascended before me. Why am I worshiping you? What's the point of that? Who the fuck made you God? Why you got the right to be God? Why I can't be God? You know what I'm saying? Why you got the right to be sovereign? Why I can't be sovereign? Who the fuck made you God? You know what I'm saying? Why I can't be God? When I start thinking like that, when I said, man, I'm keeping my energy. You know what I'm saying? If you want to make a deal, we can make a deal as long as it's in my favor. Other than that, I'm going to keep my energy and I'm going to create what I want to create. I'm not watching TV following your script. I'm not watching, listening to the radio following your script. I'm writing my script. 
I'm not praying to Jehovah or Yahweh. I mean, uh, yeah, Yahweh. I'm not even praying to. G I'm not praying to nobody. I'm not praying to Jesus. I'm not praying to Yahshua. I'm not praying to Buddha. I'm not praying to Shiva. None of that. I honor Yahshua. I honor Shiva and Buddha and all the light workers, my ancestors. Mainly, that's who I only uh, look. The only beings that I honor are my ancestors. That's it. That's 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 it. I don't, cause I don't know none of them other beings, but I know that my ancestors in the fourth dimension and in the fifth dimension are here to help me. So that's who I, that's who I, that's who I care about. I honor my ancestors and I command my angels. I have angels around me. I command them. I don't speak to them like they're my equal. I speak to them like they work for me. I command them. I put them to go to work. I command them. I just told them I need this and I need that. Go get it for me. I need a trumpet. I need a trumpet. I need to go play the horn. I need to put my soul group together. I need to get the God Store uh, Media Group up and up and running. I need you to go ahead and, and whisper in whoever's ear. You know what I'm saying? To go ahead and contact me. I need to do these things. You know what I'm saying? I need protection. I need you to come. Yeah, I, I I command my angels. They're there for you to command. They're not there for you to be your friends and shit. They don't care, and they're not trying to change you because they don't interfere with free will. They're just there to work for you, period. That's it. They're there to work for you. So that's it. I honor my ancestors. I command my angels. And I'm God. I don't have no time and no energy and no space to be giving my energy to them. So that they can continue to ascend further in the cosmos while I'm stuck down here. Hoping that I can... Get up out of the cycle of life and don't have to keep on reincarnating. Hoping I have enough energy to fulfill my contract in this incarnation. Fuck all that. I ain't giving my energy to these motherfuckers. They just ba ba basically all they are just are beings that was down here on earth that already ascended. And now we worshiping them. I don't worship the Anunnaki. I don't worship the Palladians. I work with them. I work with them. It's difference. I work with them. When I do my sun gazing. And I and I speak and I communicate with the Palladians or I communicate with the Anunnaki's is because I'm asking questions. I only ask questions. What do you want me to share with the people this time? I need light codes regarding this. I need light codes regarding that. That's it. I don't, I'm not up there talking about thank you, Anki, and all that. I'm not. I don't, I'm not worshiping that dude. I ain't doing no blood sacrifices. I'm not doing no sacrifices. I might make a sacrifice for the sun or for the moon. For planets, that's it. Planetary sacrifices. The sun. I might go out and give certain energy to the sun. Because I know how to, if you give energy to the sun, you're going to get it back. I know how to work with, with planets. I give, I honor the Sabbath day dealing with Saturn. Because I know Saturn it will, will give me the energy back. Amplified ten times more. I work with the moon and give energy to the moon. Because I know that the moon is going to come and, and amplify my shit ten, ten times more. I work with certain planets. Other than that, I don't care about no gods. I don't worship none of that shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm in nature. I'm a god. I keep my energy and I use my words to create. Other than that, man, I don't care about none of that shit. Say that shit. Keep your gods. The gods I... Look, these are the gods I worship. These are the gods I worship. Z Infinity. Astral Soul Sing. You know what I'm saying? The Great. Uh, uh, Maria Thorgonese at the Devil. Buddy Rodriguez. Dragon... Dragon... Uh, Dragonfly Z... Immortal, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you know the gods, them, them the gods that I worship. All that other shit, you know what I'm saying? I worship Lord Net to the thirteen. Them the gods, that, them the gods I pay homage to. All of that other shit, I don't care about that shit. I create gods. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, like when the Elohim in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the book of Genesis, they said, uh, they said, yeah, uh, let us make man in our own image, and they created Adam. And then they breathe their spirit into Adam. That's basically what I do. I create gods. I breathe my spirit into people. I tell people, go with inside of yourself. And then they wake up like, oh, I'm a god. I can actually create shit. Yeah, you can create shit. Go and create shit. Put the goddess on your name. Make the motherfuckers call you who you who you call who you call yourself. Make them call you Z Infinity. Make them call you Lord Netter. Make them call you Astral Sosin. Make them call you this. Make them call you your name. All that other shit, I don't care about all of that other shit. I mean, you can call me a pagan. You can call me a wicker. You can call me, you know what I'm saying, nature. 
That's it. I'm in nature. I don't care about Christianity and all of that shit. Christianity didn't give a fuck about me or my ancestors. Everywhere they went with that cross, they was trying to kill people, deceive people, lie to people. They went all through Europe killing so-called white people, Celtic shamans and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the pagans that was all in in uh, in, in in Ireland, that the pagans that was all in um, Italy and France and you know what I'm saying all through Europe they was going around killing killing. You know what I'm saying? People who worship that, who was using nature, who was in nature, who was who had the ability to to yield the power of the wind element or the the, the I mean the air element or the water element or the fire element or the earth element using etheric gases to create. Illusions and worlds and paradigms and shit. They went around trying to destroy all of the so-called white people and make them work for them. Then they went through all over India trying to destroy their shit. All through so-called Africa trying to destroy their shit. And now when the new Americas over here trying to destroy shit, I don't care about that shit. I don't give a fuck about Christianity. I'm in nature. All that hocus pocus shit don't matter to me because I can look up and consciously see stars, suns, and moon and shit. I'm into astrology. I want to know what's going on. I'm in the nature. I'm in the magic. Just like Rick Ross said in that rap, he said, I don't make music. I just make magic. Huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't care about all of that shit. I'm in the magic. I'm in the, I'm in the nature. I'm into astrology. I'm into what's really going on. All that other shit, fuck Christianity. I'm into I'm into what's really going on. I'm 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 into creating paradigms. I'm into breathing life into beings so that they can create paradigms. I'm telling you, write your shit down. Just like they said, let us make man in our own image, and they breathe their spirit into him. That's basically what you're doing when you write your shit. When you write to when you when you when you write down your paradigm and you read it out loud over and over again, you're breathing life into that. That's why I told you it's just that simple. Go and write down which whatever ability that you want, go and write it down. And every day read it over and over and over. Read your abilities every day, over and over. You know what I'm saying? Go out when the sun is out or when the moon is out, read it to the sun, read it to the moon, because the sun is a gas station. It's gonna make it happen. And the moon is a gas station. It's going to make it happen. It's just that simple. It's just as simple as going outside, playing your feet in the ground, and reading your ability list. You know what I'm saying? My name is Anu. My name is Anu. And I can teleport. My name is Anu. And I can teleport. My name is Anu. And I can fly. My name is Anu. And I can shapeshift. My name is Anu. And I'm invisible. My name is Anu. And I'm a strong magnet that attracts wealth. My name is Anu. And write your shit down and read it to the to the moon over and over and over and over and over and over again. Breathe life into your shit. Just like they break so-called breathe life into us. You breathe life into, into your creations. Write your stuff down. Let us make man in our own image. Make something in your in the image of you. What do you think? What do you think all of these authors do? Does in these in the right books? John Grissom, Sidney Sheldon, and all of them, Stephen King, they write, they 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 make their characters are in the image of them. They can relate to every one of the characters that they create. Every character that they create in their books are variations of them. And then they breathe life into it by reading it over and over again. And then when you go and read the book, you you making it manifest. You helping them manifest. Your energy is helping that manifest itself. That's why I don't, I don't watch TV. I don't watch. I'm not going to help you manifest your shit unless your shit is going to help the light agenda. If you're going to help. If you're going to help the light side, if you're going to help push this consciousness, this God consciousness, this Nephilim consciousness, if you're going to let people know that they're creators, then yeah, I can help you. Yeah, I'll watch that movie if it's light, if it's light codes in it. If I can watch it and use that to decipher and, and build people up, build the light kingdom, the kingdom of light. I'm all about destroying the kingdom of darkness and I'm all about destroying the gods. I've been smashing on the gods for some years now and they and i've and i reached i finally reached a place where they can't touch me i finally reached a place where they can't fuck with me and now i'm creating gods every day i'm creating gods and goddesses every day if you come to my channel it's because you are a creator if you if you raise your vibrations up high enough to reach my frequency 
then then that's because you are a creator you're ready to start creating you have magic inside of you and it's and it's ready to come out so i breathe life into you and tell you who you are i'm reminding you of who you are that you are a creator that you're infinite in height you're infinite in sound you're infinite in dynamics you're a dynamic being you're very dimensional you're very dynamic you're not limited to nothing you're not limited to no one. You're not limited to nothing, no place, nothing. You're not limited. I said in one of my past lifetimes that the only limit to your abilities are where you place them. You're the God. You can place a limitation on yourself and you also have the ability to remove that limitation from you. To lift it up. So the quarantine is up. The veil is lifted. Are you going to go beyond it? Or are you going to sit there... And, and, and continue to follow the pendulum. Listen. Um, develop your weapons. Whatever your weapon is. Listen. Get into astrology. Learn astrology. Hardcore. If that's what appeals to you. Learn it. Hardcore. Get into tarot cards. Learn the tarot cards. Hardcore. When you when you open up these tarot cards, right? This is the animal messages. When you open up these tarot cards, this is what definition does for you. It develops your intuition. It develops your intuition. You know, I, I, I collect tarot cards. I'm I'm like a hoarder of information. I hoard information. You know what I'm saying? I just got another tarot card called the Tarot of Illuminati Oracle. Because I'm taking that word back. They took that from us. Illumination means light one. The light beings. Illuminati. All of that. They took that name from us. I'm taking that back. I'm not letting them get the victory of keeping my name. That's my name. I'm an Illuminati. I'm the illuminated one. You took my science and then put me to sleep in a spell for 6,000 years and, and, and tried to rain off of my science. Now I'm up. I'm taking my the word elite back. I'm taking the word Illuminati back. I'm taking it all back. All of this shit belongs to me. I'm Elohim, yo. I was just asleep for 6,000 years while Yang was running around trying to confuse people with the fire element. The water element is back now. It's the yin energy. It's that feminine energy that's back on the planet now. I'm not buying that shit. I'm not having that shit. I'm getting my crew together. I'm getting my crew together right now. It's God Store. It's God Store Media Group. I'm getting my crew together right now. We getting ready for war. We sharpening each other up every day. We watching our. We it's the same group. We all interacting with each other. It's the same group of of, of beings, all interacting with each other. Kevmir, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 Z Infinity, Lord Natural 13. You know what I'm saying? We all are the same beings. T Guns is now up in here. He just got into our sphere of reality. He helping create now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Shy T, all, uh, all kind of different people, beings, not people, beings are now, we're all into the same thing. We're in the same sphere now. We all created. There's synchronicity there. There's synchronicity there. Developing our weapons. You know what I'm saying? Developing our weapons. It's all about develop your weapon. That's what I'm doing right here at 13 Cosmic Law Astrology in the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light. I'm helping you develop your weapon. Go and get you some tarot cards. If that's your thing, tarot cards. I actually made two decks of tarot cards myself. And, and when I get ready to take off, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, and, and put them out there. I have two two tarot card decks that I made. Um, one is called Dragon Proverbs, and another one is called. Well, I'm gonna keep that to myself. But you know, um, I created some some tarot cards myself. I created a few decks. This is the animal one. You know what I'm saying? Animal messages. This is the shaman oracle. You know what I'm saying? This is the Illuminati tarot cards. You know what I'm saying? I co I collect tarot cards. You know what I'm saying? This is. This is a uh, the mythical tarot. I got some karma cards over there, some astro some 
astrological cards over there, the tooth fairy. You know what I'm saying? I got an enchanted spell board. I got I'm I'm I collect that's what I do. I do this. And when I get up in the morning and I look at my tarot cards to shuffle up a few decks and I find out the messages dealing with the past, present, and future. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm about to open it up to start doing free tarot card readings as well. But as of now, you know, I'm just learning my tarot cards. It's just something that I got into. I just recently got into the tarot cards. This ain't something I've been doing all my life, but I recently got into it. I developed a, a, um, an intimacy for the tarots because the tarot cards is dealing with divination and every time that you practice in whatever field of divination you're 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 stimulating your third eye your pineal gland and you're developing your intuition and when you go into those those oracles those realms this is the shaman's oracle when you go into the realm of the shamanisms you're developing a communication with them and a relationship a rapport with them and they'll begin to speak to you, not just when you when you when you when you dealing with the tarot cards, but in your real life, you will develop a a, a a a a keen ear for them. You'll be able to hear when they're speaking to you and guiding you, the shamans. That's what this will do. The animal totem, the animal messages. You you the animals will start coming to you and, and giving you messages now. Birds, certain birds, certain animal insects, dogs, cats, every every all of the beings communicate with me now. Because I've developed my intuition for these animal totems, for these animal cards. Same thing with the myth with the uh with the mythic uh torrents. Dealing with the Greek gods. All just light codes all over the place start coming happening to you. I'm all into the tarot cards now. This is something that as a Christian, I would have I would have I would have been I would have been ready to kill a psychic. Hold on, what you mean you psychic? That's evil. What you mean you into astrology? That's evil. What you mean you went to tarot cards? That's evil. Definition? That's definition of spirits. That's evil. I would have been ready to kill somebody. Because that's how programmed they have me. Not me. The old me. Just like Paul said, when I was a child, I thought as a child. I spoke as a child. I acted as I behaved as a child. But behold, now that I'm a man, I think as a man. I speak as a man. I behave as a man. The, 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 the slave... Was 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 programmed with the Christian program to hate things that are real, things that are connected to spirit. They want you to hate spirit. See, they believe that they can destroy spirit, and if they can successfully destroy spirit, then 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 that will make them the ultimate supreme. See what I'm saying? And it, and it, they become spirit, so their dark spirit will will now influence the world. That's what they're they're trying to do. They're trying to kill spirit. But we kept the spirit alive this this long. So now that we're back in the yin energy, that 6,000 years of yang winning, that shit is up. We waking up every day. You got Nephilims all over the world, man, popping up. They starting to hear my message that we are Nephilims, that we are the, the children of the gods, that we are the giants, that we are the gods. We are the gods. They starting to hear this message. And they waking up out of the spell every day, every day. I'm, I'm going into Lord Nature's channel and he's gaining momentum every day. I'm going to Z Infinity's channel and he's gaining momentum. Astro Sosin's channel. Dude got more. Look, God got more videos. Astro Sosin got more videos on his channel than I got on my channel. And he just started. He's gaining momentum. He's taking off. He, his star is taking off. He's a God star. He's a God star and he's gaining more momentum. He's gaining more energy. Why? Because he ain't giving his energy to these little fake ass gods and these fake ass governments and all of that shit. Fake shit. The government is the wounded beast that we slay. Fuck the wounded beast that we slay. They, you, we got to stop giving them that power saying that they're the government. They can't govern you. You govern you. You slay them. That wounded beast that we slay. You gotta you gotta take stop calling them the elite. Because Carl Newton said where your attention goes, your energy flows. You're giving energy to them and allow and keeping them in as, as the status of being elite. You gotta take that word back and call yourself elite. I'm elite. You are elite. The Bible says you are a chosen generation in the royal priesthood. The Bible says that you are above and not beneath. That means you are above the wounded beast that we slay. You're not beneath the strongholds of the wounded beast that we slay. You're above the, them. 
you are the elite it says you are the remnant you are the elect you are the you are the elect you are the elite you are the limited uh uh the remnant you you are the elect you are the elite you are the remnant you 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 who who are watching this video right now you Nega, 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 God, nega, God, nega, God, you are the elect. So don't get caught up in stupid ass, uh, 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 this is evil and that is evil. Develop your weapon because it's going to be a time when I'm going to call on you. I'm going to need you. I'm going to need to be able to call you and say, look, um, What's the numbers for the day? What's the energy for the day? Today is 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 August 5th, 2013. If you're into astrology and if you're into numerology, then you would know the energy of August 5th, 2013. You would know what today is. I'll be able to call you and say, what's the energy for the day? You will use astrology and you will use numerology to be able to give me, you know what I'm saying, insight. And intel on to on what today is about so that we can strategically plan out our day, our attack, all out of shots on their ass. Then I'll be able to call Z Infinity and say, yo, what's the what's the message? What what's 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 the message, you know what I'm saying, for the day? Dealing with tarot cards. And he'll pop out, you know what I'm saying, the shaman oracles. He'll pop out the animal, he'll pop out the shaman oracles, he'll pop out the animal messages, he'll pop out the, the, the love and light angels, he'll pop out different tarot cards and give me a, 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 a accurate reading from the divinist from the spirits. These are listen, when you deal with the animal with the, the angel cards, you're dealing with actual angels. Those are actual messages from the from the from that realm. They're actually communicating, they're actually leading you. When you deal with the shaman oracle, you go into these oracles, these tarot cards right here. You go into these tar these tarot cards right here. You dealing with the actual shamans. You dealing with the actual shamans. You dealing with the actual shamans. These are the original ancestors. Every human being has ancestors that were shamans. Every human being has ancestors that were that were pagan. Every human being has ancestors that were shaman. Every human being has ancestors that were pagan. Pagan just barely means that you're nature. That's what pagan means. In Christianity, we was taught that we was programmed to hate shamanism. To I mean hate paganism. We was programmed to hate paganism. But now that we're enlightened, now that now that the veil is lifted up, we're enlightened. We, we're programmed to love nature now. We know that Christianity, that's a new religion. All religions that have Abrahamic roots, dealing with Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, those is new religions. The oldest religion is shamanism. Then came paganism, which was nature. You know what I'm saying? They were students of nature. Gods of nature. Goddess, goddess is some nature. Then came Wicca, dealing with the magic. They start practicing the magic of the shamanisms. Wicca is all about shamanism. It's just applying the teachings of shamanism in Wicca and, and, and utilizing the, the teachings of shamanism with nature, is which in science is how you get Wicca, witchcraft, and all of that. So yeah, man, I don't develop your weapon. Cause when the God Star Media Group come, it's over. It's over. It's over. We it's over. We're gonna be billionaires. We're gonna be we're gonna be gods. Look, we're gonna take over the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is ours. The fourth dimension is ours. The fourth dimension belongs to us. Period. The fourth dimension deals with the consciousness, the mind. The music, the entertainment, the advertisement, the clothing, all of that deals with the fourth dimension. Shaping the consciousness of the mind. Control who can control the mind, who can control the paradigms. We need to be, we need to take as elites, we are the elite. As the elites, the new elites. You know what I'm saying? As the new elites. You know what I'm saying? As the new elites, we need to take control of the minds of the people. 
We need to take control of the minds of the people, create paradigms and usher them into these paradigms. That's 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 what it's all about. That's what it's all about, controlling the minds of the people. But we want to we want to put them in light paradigms. We want to put them in a lighthouse. I want to put you in the lighthouse. I'm giving light to what's going on. I'm letting you know, come back to nature. That's a lighthouse. I'm letting you know, stop eating animals. That's a lighthouse. Listen, they program you with the wild animals. That's bullshit. They tell you all, oh, you don't want to go into the wild, into into the forest. They got wild animals there that'll kill you. No, they got wild animals there that'll kill them. We're natural beings. You go into the forest. Listen, just like in, in the movie Jungle Book. Remember Jungle Book? When he went into the forest, the boy, the wolves waged him. The bears loved him. He was friends with every being in the in the in the in the wilderness. That's how it is. You go into the wilderness with the so-called wild beast and you become a friend of nature again. They they help you remember who you are again. They love us. They love human beings. Wild animals, wild beasts love human beings. Why do you think you got all of those so-called white brothers who go into in, in the National Geographic and shit who go out and they be hugging animals and shit, hugging bears, hug, actually having relationships with tigers and lions and shit? It's because that myth that, 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 that they're wild and that they're killers is fake. So you had a certain group of individuals who were Palladians who looked like humans. And had so-called white skin going to nature and show you, look, man, this ain't look, this this lion is a lion, but this, this lion ain't gonna hurt you. This bear ain't gonna hurt you. This alligator ain't gonna hurt you. I love watching them National Ge uh, Geographic uh, uh, films, watching watching my um, Australian brothers and, and my Oregon brothers and you know what I'm saying my Palladian brothers and shit going to different places and interact with the with the animals. I love that. How do you think Yahshua in the Bible got his power? He went into the wilderness. It said he went into the wilderness where the wild beast. It specifically said he went into the wilderness with wild beast for 40 days and 40 nights fasting. Then he came out, overcame the temptation, he came out Messiah. You gotta go into the you gotta look, stop letting them program you to believe that the wild the, the, the wild that they're wild beasts. They're not wild beasts. They just wild to them because because they eat animals. So when you go up into the wild, into the wilderness, eat with animal blood in you. Yeah, they going to they going to smash on your shit. You go in there like a natural being knowing who you are. They going to embrace you. Oh, come over here, man. We going to show you how how to shape shift again. The wolves will take you in. We going to show you how to shape shift again. You forgot, but we going to show you. Then the bears going to come. Come here. I'm going to show you about courage. You forgot, but we're going to show you how to get your courage back. We're going to show you how to fight. Then the bird's going to come. Come here. Climb this tree. Climb this tree. Come hug this tree. Come. Come to the trees. Then the fish going to come. Come here. Come in the water. Come into this part of the water. Stay in the water long enough. We're going to help you get your... Yo, we're going to help you activate a certain lung that's inside of you that's dormant that would allow you to breathe in the water. Because you forgot. You forgot that you can breathe in the water and that you can live in the water for years without coming up to take one breath. That you already have mastery over the water element before you came into this world. You have, listen, we came from the sea. So we can live and breathe underwater and don't ever have to come up. We came up and evolved from the sea into this world. Listen, you have beings who live in the sea. Their world is water. Well, we we evolved from the water. Our world is air. We live in a, a big pool of air, a sphere of air. But even in the air, you have elementals. The elemental magic of air is that is water. The air element is water. That's why you all that illusion that you can't go three or five days without drinking water. You can go the rest of your life without drinking water. If you know how to breathe in air. Because air has a component of water in it. Come back to nature and overcome fear. That's what the animal, they don't want you to go into the wilderness. Why? Because they know if you go into the wilderness, you're going to come out as the as the Messiah seed that you are. You're going to come out stronger than they shit. You're going to defeat they shit because you're going to be dealing with all of the animals are going to teach you. Just like Jungle Book. That was a real live movie. 
They telling you right there, there's light codes all over that movie. Light codes all over that movie. Light codes all over that movie. So yeah. I call you God. I call you goddess because you know thyself. I love you. I need you to survive. I need to be able to call on you and say, you know what? I'm down. I, can you can you lift me up? That's why I'm giving you all of my energy right now. I'm giving it to you because I'm getting ready to take off. And I'm going to be able to call on you. I'm going to have to be able to call on you and say, you know what? Look, we've been over here doing this. What's the scoop on that? When the God Star Media Group come, come, you know what I'm saying? When we, when we, when we, when we start taking off, we, it's, it's over. It's a wrap. I'm telling you, develop your weapon right now. Listen, this is the thing. If you into astrology, this is for the uh, Soul L Vibe. You, you ask me um, what kind of astrology to get into. I want you to start studying Verdict Astrology. Verdict Astrology. V E R D I C. Verdict Astrology. Study Verdict Astrology and Numerology. Study Verdict Astrology and Numerology. Those two, they work hand in hand. Get you some Verdict Astrology and Numerology. They go hand in hand. Z Infinity. I've already, you know, um, sent you a package. You should be getting it real soon. And that's that. We don't have to talk about that. That's your weapon. Develop it. Develop your weapon. Develop your weapon. We already got the land. Um, Kev Mayer said that she was going to let us, you know what I'm saying, come to our, uh, she got a, uh, uh, some property. She got a, a huge, uh, she got some, she got some land. That we can that we can use as home base for the God Star Media Group. It's in Florida. It's in Florida. That's that's a light code right there. You want to get to Florida, especially Florida Keys. Listen, these is geographical locations that you have to go to because of the energy that's there. You got to go to Florida Keys. Florida Keys. If you go to Florida Keys, that's how you develop your ability to flight to fly. There's energy in the Florida Keys that would allow you to fly. There's energy in the Florida Keys that would allow you to astral project. You got to go to Florida Keys. You got to go to Phoenix, Arizona. If you want to reinvent yourself, you got to go to Phoenix, Arizona. You got to go to New York. You got to go to New Jersey. You got to go to certain different geographical locations on the earth. You got to go to Las Vegas. You got to come to the Bay Area. These are certain places that if, and then if you win the Bay Area, there's certain places that you got to go to. You got to go to West Portal. There's a place called West Portal. There's a place called Sunset. There's a place called Clear Lake. You got to pay attention to the names of these different places that's in your city because those are the places you need to go to. Clear Lake deals with clearing your mind from their MK to my control programs. And the Lord leading me beside the still water and restores my soul. Restoration takes place at the water. So when I heard that they got a place called Clear Lake, I had to go there and go camp and I had to go in and go check it out. Went there, cleared my mind up. Went to West Portal. Oh, they got some shit called West Portal? Okay. The West? West Portal? Oh, let me go to West Portal then. I'm dealing with that energy. They got a place called Sunset. I'm there. I'm finna, as the sun sets, that's when I found out about the port. That's when I found out about the portals. I went to Sunset out here in the Bay Area, California. I went to a place called Sunset. And it's a city called Sunset. And I went to Sunset. And, um... And as the sun was setting, I sat with the sun and I and I actually went into a different dimension, a different, not a different dimension, but a different realm, a whole different world. That's when I came back kicking this fourth density, fifth density earth knowledge, telling you how the beings are on fifth density, how they fly, how they, you know what I'm saying, I, I came back telling you about different worlds and different civilizations and shit. Different, you got to pay attention. If you in a city, pay attention to the names of, of the different places in your in your city, the na the names in different places of, of your, you know what I'm saying, of where you are. Those names, listen, when you incarnated this time, you already you already left like a map, a, a guidebook, a set of instructions that would you just gotta remember this shit. When I when I left last time, when I came back, my 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 book that that, that helped me remember things was the Bible. 
that was that's what helped me remember things. But your book might be, your thing might be Hinduism. Your system might be Egyptian. The Egyptian system, your system might be astrology, whatever helped you remember. And you use that. You I, I would never leave the Bible all the way. Because the esoteric secrets is in that. That's my background. But I'm not churchy. I'm not stuck in the Bible. That's why I teach a lot from the Bible, but I incorporate everything. Animal totems, you know what I'm saying, angels, you know what I'm saying, astrology and all of that. I'm not, I'm not Christian. I'm not Christian. I'm not. So I love you when I need you to survive. I love you when I need you to survive. In fact, I'm finna eat it. I'm finna nah. But yeah, you know. It's it's important that that you that you that you that you realize what's going on. Remember, remember, remember. So I use the Bible as a set of instructions because that's what resonated with me when I came back into this realm. And I used it and I got the first half of it. And then when my DNA started unchanging, you know what I'm saying? When my DNA unlocked, unlocked and started changing, I started getting light codes and I started getting cosmic and was like, oh man, this whole shit that I was believing, I was believing it, but I was, I was looking at it different. But I had to learn the Bible and get the spiritual aspect of it, the radical and the extreme aspect of it. Look, I've lived every story in the Bible. I've been every character in the Bible. I've been every character in the Bible, literally. I've been David running for 15 years, hiding out in caves and shit. I've been Abraham going into the land of promise, leaving my family. I've been every character. I've been Esther. I've been Ruth. I've been everything. I've been every character in the Bible that was notable. I've been every prophet in the Bible. And now I'm Messiah. Now I'm the Christ. Now I'm Yahshua. I've been every every in the Bible. Every story in the Bible. Every hardship, every triumph, and every tri every trial and every triumph. I've, I've been through it all. The whole story in the Bible has been me. But I use that as a pivot to get into this, con this real consciousness. Christ consciousness. The higher state. Now I needed that to be in my lower consciousness. I needed that. That was my instructions for the lower consciousness. Now I'm on my higher consciousness. I'm cosmic now. It's all about spirit, real spirit. You can't limit spirit. You can't limit source. It's all about nature. It's all about, you know what I'm saying? It's all about nature. It's all about, you know, um, astrology, numerology, real shit. Using that as a pivot. Then when I start getting cosmic and my eyes start opening up, I start realizing, hold on, astrology is not dealing with zodiac. Astrology is dealing with location too. So I start looking at different geographical locations and start realizing, hold on, it's energy in this location. I feel it. <laughs> Let me pay attention to what the name of this city is. Let me pay attention to what the, how I can benefit from this. I had to take a road trip. I went to, I went to, me and my woman, we went to uh, we went to Texas, we went to New Mexico, we went to uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and we came back to and we came back to uh, uh, to California. While we was on that road trip, I, I picked up so much energy and so much information. I came back a whole new being. I came back kicking this consciousness. I came back God. I came back God. I had to put to death the slave self. I had to give birth to the Nephilim consciousness. I had to put the to put to death the person, the slave, and give birth to the God consciousness. That's when I became, that's when I started as a Moor, started navigating through higher states of consciousness. That's when I woke up and said, you know what? It's I'm I'm finna this is this is this is my calling. That's when I start really remembering what time it was. I've been a fighter all my life. Listen, you got to keep fighting. Don't ever stop fighting. Don't ever stop pushing. Don't ever stop moving ahead. Keep going. Don't give up. Even if you fall down a few times, get back up. Dust yourself off. Don't beat yourself up. Get back into this war, man. Get back into this fight, man. Get back in this race. Don't quit. Why? Because the race isn't given to the swift, nor is it given to the might. But to those that endure to the end, you got to endure. You got to keep on enduring. 
is not given to the swift. That means that you can't jump into this race and run real fast. Because if you run real fast, you're just going to burn yourself out. Then you're going to quit. Don't ever want to get back into the race. You got some people that they're just living a simple life. They're, they're quiet. They're not trying to make a noise. They're not trying to actually fulfill their contract. If you don't fulfill your contract in this incarnation, you're going to get caught up in the cycle of life and have to continue to reincarnate. You weren't placed in this earth to make a, a, a to quiet down. You was placed in this earth to make a noise. Make them motherfuckers quiet down. They got to quiet down. They got to silence up now. It's our turn to change the vibrations of this world. Everybody looking for the next Dr. King, Dr. Martin Luther King, the next Malcolm X, the next Mahatmas Gandhi, the next, you know what I'm saying, uh, Cesar Chavez, the next... You know what I'm saying? Henry, Henry David Thoreau, the next. Listen, stop looking for the next, what you call it. Start being the first who you are. Stop looking for the next Malcolm X. Start being the first Z Infinity. Stop looking for the next Cesar Chavez. Start being the first Kev Mir. Stop looking for the next, you know what I'm saying? Dr. Martin Luther King. Start being the first Soel Vibe. I'm going to tell you what happened to Malcolm X, Dr. King, and all of them. They placed them on the wall. They're on the wall. You go to the library, you'll see them on the wall. Why? Because they want you to look at them and, and wish that you had a leader of this time. Your leader is on the wall. That's your leader. So therefore, it's like if, if you're looking at your leader on the wall, then you ain't looking at yourself and you're not trying to take it, take over. You're not trying to cause the next week. That's why I said it's a God store revolution. Revolution means change provoking change it's a god store renaissance in order for a successful revolution to take place a successful change then it has to be a renaissance we have to change the way people think we got to change the way people speak we got to change the way people treat each other it has to be a successful renaissance this is a god store renaissance this is a god store revolution we're changing the way we're changing the way people think we're changing the way people think we're changing the way people speak we're changing the way people eat. We're telling people stop eating meat. Stop eating. Stop consuming. You know what I'm saying? MSG. Stop. We're changing the way people behave. We're changing the vibrations of the earth. It's a renaissance. Just like if you look at the old renaissance with Michael, Michelangelo and all of them. Da Vinci and all of them. That was a renaissance. Why? Why was that renaissance needed? Because the people was dumbed down. They didn't even know how to read. They weren't nothing. They started kicking out astrology shit. They started kicking astrology, science. Look, the government, the government had the people so dumb at that time. Look at the old renaissance, Christianity. Christianity had the people so dumb at the time. Evil was ruling so much. You had demons all looking like humans. Demons, though, running around the face of the earth and shit. Controlling shit. Legions of demons trying to rule shit. The people were so dumb, it needed to be a, re a renaissance. People was dying, plague, sickness all over the place and shit. People was only living. Look, the reason why they was they was marrying 11-year-old girls, 12-year-old, 13-year-old girls. Marrying at nine. They was marrying nine-year-old girls. They was marrying 11-year-old girls. This is common knowledge. Why? Why was you why was you having men marry nine year old girls, 13 year old girls and shit? Because they weren't even living past 35. They was dying real young. Because of the plague, evil was so prevalent at that time. Because the Christian church was allowing all these demons to come into this world. The Christian church, the, the Vatican, that shit is a, a, a demon. That shit is ran by vampires. All the motherfuckers in there is vampires. With rings on and shit. So it had to be a renaissance to get the people to wake up and shit. That renaissance came and flooded the world. People started appreciating higher learning. People started embracing literature. People started get, committing themselves to literary arts. Reading, writing books and shit. Learning how to read. Getting into mathematics. Getting into science. That's what the whole renaissance was about. Do your research. You know what I'm saying? They was putting science in art. You, you got it now. You, we barely waking up and finding out all kind of light codes Da Vinci put in his art. 
Picasso and Michelangelo and all of that. They was putting light codes in their shit. That's why I had to go back and get this. I had to go back and said, I'm not going to get sensitive about the Illuminati work. Because Illuminati, we're the Illuminati. We are, Look, I'm, a, I'm the Illuminati. I was the first enlightened one. I taught them everything. They put me to sleep. They put me in a spell for 6,000 years. I've been on this earth for 6,000 years trapped in this body. I've been in this earth for 6,000 years. They, they cursed me. They took away my height. They took away my sound. They took away all of my uh, weapons inside. We all have certain weapons. That's why they say, you know what I'm saying? If you look in, in, in the book of Daniel, you will see how the angels. In the book of Ezekiel, you will see about the angels. They was created with certain gifts inside of them. Certain angels were created with certain instruments inside of them. Weapons. We all have gifts and weapons inside of us. That's dormant that we have to take advantage of. When we when we see the weapon, we got to When we know that it's inside of us, like dance. I got dance inside of me. So I've been developing my weapon now. I've been learning how to dance. I got, you know what I'm saying, music inside of me. So I've been writing all kind of music. I got, you know what I'm saying, poetry inside of me. I've been writing poetry. I've been, uh, uh I was finna bite it. That was, that's some uh, lower conscious shit. I was finna bite the rapper open like a Neanderthal or something. <laughs> that's some lower consciousness shit. I had to retake that back. I don't have no scissors, but I'm about to go ahead and Get resourceful. So you got to never stop using your mind, man. You know, the demons wanted me to bite it and show my beast side. And then I had to step back and fight that thought. And hold on, what am I doing? It's a constant war. It's a spiritual war all the time. You know what I'm saying? But my angels, they got me. They got my back. That's why I had to stop and get this oracle right here. Because I had to remember, man, I'm, 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 a, I'm the Illuminati. They took that from me. They took the science from me and tried to... Use it against me. So yeah, I'm not getting sensitive about no words. That's what that's what that's what's keeping us in density. We get sensitive about certain words and shit. I'm about to check this out. I love you when I need you to survive. Oh, yeah, this just speaks so much truth to me. <laughs> look forward to these target cards, yo. Look forward to them. Look, look forward to them. They coming. I'm going to develop my weapon. But right now, I'm just energizing my beings. I'm energizing my soul group. So it's like, you know, I'm, I'm from here and there. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But when we take off, we taking off. And when I talk about, when I talk about really ruling this world, we're really going to rule this world. We rule the world right now. We rule the world, but it's gonna materialize. It's gonna materialize into into a lot of a lot of pleasant things. We have to listen. A lot of you you've been blocking money, and even myself. You know we've been blocking money. Why? Because they programmed us to think that you can have one of the four. You can have money. If you got money, then you you can have a family, and if you got family, you can get money. But you can't have spirituality if you got a family and money. You can have family and money, but you can't have spirituality and you can't have freedom. Or you can have spirituality and freedom, but you can't have a family. Or you can have spirituality, freedom, and a family, but you can't have money. Because if you have spirituality, you can't have money. That's how they got us down here. Nah, you're supposed to have a whole pie. You're supposed to have spirituality, freedom, money, and a family. Ain't nothing wrong with money. In the Bible, it says the love of money is the root to all kinds of evil. Loving money will make you do all kind of evil things. Money ain't shit but a means to get what you want. One kind of means to get what you want. Even though we realize it's a matrix. Money is a blood sacrifice. They kill the tree to, to, to make the paper. Then, so that you won't go to war on their ass for killing down our trees, they paint the paper green, which is the deception. So that it appears being eco-friendly. 
so that you won't have to go to war on AIs for destroying our planet. Trees give us oxygen. Trees keep, you know what I'm saying, the uh the, the oxygen level balanced on the planet Earth so that all of the, the pollution and all of that shit won't affect us. Trees are home and life to all kind of animals and life sources and stuff. They cutting out the trees to make a paper. Painting it green with this deception so that we won't go to war with them and it appears as being eco-friendly. Deception. Placing their face on a bill, which is which is a form of worship, saying that this is now you got to worship this bill. This is what you got to slave for. This is what you got to kill for. This is what you got to prostitute for. This is what you got to steal for. This money. So we don't love money. The love of money is the root to all kinds of evil. That's what the Bible says. If you love money, then you're going to start doing all kinds of evil to get it. We love spirituality. But we got that part now. Now we need economic power. That's what it's all about. It's about economic power. That's what we're taking. We're taking back what's ours. Listen, you can call yourself king. You can call yourself queen. You can crown yourself king. You can crown yourself queen. But if you're not treated like the royalty that you are, then that's the issue. That's the issue. So basically what the God Star Media Group is all about, it's a multimedia fashion. It's it's where it's an all-out attack on the fourth dimension. It's a fourth dimensional uh, warfare. You know what I'm saying? And we might stay back a little bit, but if we when we stay back, we go we gonna live luxury. We're gonna live in luxury. You gotta be treated like the king that you are. You gotta be treated like the queen that you are. And you're gonna be treated like the king that you are. You're gonna be treated like the queen that you are. That's what the God Star Media Group is about. It's about putting our resources together so that we can actually get the things that we need. That's why we, we love spirit. We love light. We love, we love each other. So clearly we don't love money. So we're not caught up in that matrix and we know what money is. You know what I'm saying? Now, in the Bible, there's another passage that says that the money is the answer to things. So money is the answer to things. If you want what you need to get in this realm in the matrix, then you need to go ahead and get the money so that it can answer your, your the, the problems. You need you need the money to get to this and then that. So if we're gonna be in this realm, we might as well go ahead and, and, and get some economic power. We might as well go ahead and take control. We might as well take control of the minds first and then build an army and then build a military and then build a government and then build a but it's all about taking control of the minds. And being that this is a free will, free choice universe, nothing can take away free will, free choice in this universe. And nothing, absolutely nothing can take away free will, free free choice in, on the planet Earth. So all of that, uh, uh, evil rules the radio or evil rules Hollywood. And you can't get a movie in Hollywood unless you partake in some evil. Man, that's bullshit. This is a free will, free choice universe. They, they don't have no other choice but to play our records. They're going to have no other choice but to play our movies. Why? Because we're going to work all the way around the motherfuckers until, look, we can create our own Hollywood. We don't need them. We're going to work around them and create so much of a buzz to where they're going to be like, they're going to come to us. Man, We can we play that radio? We want. Where's that jam at that you was trying to get us to play? They're going to be wanting to play our shit because we're going to create a buzz all around them. We're going to be buzzing on the streets. Everywhere you see, you're going to look around, you're going to see our clothing. You're going to see our clothing with our sigils on it. You're going to see our, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to be able to stop us. They're not going to be able to stop us. I'm glad, I'm, I'm very fortunate that I grabbed this right here. I really, I'm really fortunate that I grabbed this right here. You know what I'm saying? I really, I really, my woman, she took care of me, man. She my sister and my woman. <laughs> she my sister because... Because I love her, man, you know, she's like the only being in this world that really, that really gets me, that really gets me. Because I'm, sometimes I'll be in different realms and different dimensions and shit, and I don't want to come back down to earth. I just want to live in my mind. That's the beauty of it. I don't want to come back down to earth. I want to live in my mind. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes she say, you know what, you need to take care of the earthly things too. You need to do this and you need to do that. And, you know that's I, I I really appreciate her. I really appreciate her for 
for um for being patient and humble and all of that shit to just endure me is enough. I'm 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 I don't let too much shit. I don't let nothing slide. People be like, man, you you too militant, you too you too radical, you too extreme, you too of a disciplinary. Yeah, I'm not fucking letting shit slide. Cause evil ain't your friend, so I ain't they friend. I'm all the way light and love. I don't have no time for no bullshit. Of course I'm militant. I'm going to hold my ground. This earth belongs to me. This land belongs to me. And I'm taking it back. I'm getting my soul group ready. We taking it back. That's what the God Store Renaissance is about. That's what the God Store Revolution is about. That's what this God Store Media Group is about. It's about taking back what's ours. This land is ours. It ain't about what, giving our energy to no fake ass gods. It's about keeping our shit and applying it where in the areas that we need to apply our energy. It's about paying homage to our ancestors. It's about going into these 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 spiritual realms and getting information from these different realms. I can go into the angel oracles. That's a realm, the oracle of the angels. I can go and hear what the angels want to hear, uh, what message they got for me by picking up these tarot cards. I can go and learn what the Illuminati got to say. Got to say these these are the beings that created this world, the Illuminated ones. I, I can go in here from the Illuminati and hear what they got to say. I can I can pick up the the, the mythic tarots and hear what they got to say. I can go to the karmic cards or the astrology cards or the love cards or the fine money cards. You know what I'm saying? Or the shaman cards or the or the or the or the, or the animal totems or the shaman cards. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Or pick up the astrology cards. Pick up the astrology cards and see what the you know, get some knowledge from the stars. Or pick up, you know what I'm saying? The karma cards. Or pick up the love and relationship cards and find out what the tarot cards got to say. Put the, the, the love attraction cards and see what the, the law of attraction cards, the law of attraction, and see what they got to say. Or go into the fairy oracle and find out what the fairies got to tell me. Dealing with the pendulum on a fairy board. Or pick up the enchanted spell board and find out, you know what I'm saying? With the um with with what my spirit guys got to say. Developing my weapons. So now I'm ready for the ass. Now I'm ready for the ass. What the God Star Media Group is all about, it's all about economical power. It's not, it's, it's not about playing no games. It's a renaissance. That's what, they weren't playing no games. Michelangelo, Da Vinci, you know what I'm saying, Picasso, they weren't playing no games. They were serious about what they was doing. They was putting light codes and all of their shit, everything that they did, all of their material, all of their mathematics, every one of their patents deal with mathematics, sacred geometry, astrology, and science. Every one of them, they didn't get into the hocus pocus Christianity shit. They was targeting the church because the church was a, was dumbing the people down. So they came with the renaissance just to get people back on, on point. They was using art, math, and science to teach the people, to breathe life back into the people. Do your research. These motherfuckers weren't living past 35 years old. They was getting, they was getting all kinds of sicknesses and dying and shit. Doing that renaissance. The, the renaissance came and changed the game. Saved Europe. The, the renaissance came and saved Europe. Do your research. That's what the God Star Renaissance is about. People out here are dying. For lack of knowledge, God's people are perishing. People are dying out here. Because they don't know what time it is. So we got to come back and wake them up. We got to stimulate something inside of them. We got to ignite them. We got to ignite their fire. We got to activate their kudalini. Listen, if you don't want to activate your kudalini, I'm going to come and activate the shit for you. Because I need you to survive. I'm going to come and activate your Merkaba for you. Because I need you to survive. I'm going to come and activate your third eye for you. Because I need you to survive. If you are a part of my soul group, I'm coming for you. I'm not leaving nobody behind. Just don't leave me behind. 
Cause I'm one of them radicals that'll stay in this rim all the way until the last soul goes. But don't close the door on me. Keep me alive. Keep me alive in your thoughts. Keep me alive in your journals. Your composition books. Keep me alive in your lyrics. Keep me alive. Cause I'm keeping you alive. So we got the land. We got the land. Kiv Mir said that we can use our land in Florida. Which is an excellent location. That's the, the that's the home base for the God Star Media Group. Different beings have contacted me saying that yeah, they wanna they wanna start putting it to five dollars a week a day up. I'm gonna tell them go ahead, create your own individual PayPal. Create your own PayPal. This is all about economic power. This has nothing to do with no bullshit. This is about economic power. But listen, know what you're doing. That's what I want to tell you. Just know what you're doing. Because when you be a part of this, it's all about light. It's all about love. So just know what you're doing. If you're ready to come all the way into the light, if you're ready to come all the way into love, then yeah, be a part of us. Because we're not playing. We're just, we're going to take over. We're going to take over. It's too many of us and it's not too many of them. It's too many of us and it's not too many of them. Bind up all powers of Satan. I bind up all powers of Lucifer. I bind up all powers of Leviathan. I bind up all powers of Agarius. I bind up all powers of Mestima. I bind up all powers of Billion of Lottinus. I bind up all powers of Mullen. I bind up all powers of Mullick. I bind up all powers of uh, Mammoth. I bind up all powers of Asmodeus. I bind up all powers of Zagin. I bind up all powers of um, Billy and Philodinus and all legions commanded by them and cast them out to the bottomless pits and, com and, and, and banish them. You're never to return. 13, 13, 13. Nega, nega, nega. Nega, serpent, nega, serpent, nega, serpent, nega, god, nega, god, nega, god. Nega, 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 nega. 13, 13, 13. Nega, 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 nega. 13, 13, 13, 13. Nega, 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 nega. 13, 13, 13, 13. Nega, 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 nega. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Nega, 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 13. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Nega, 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 13, 13, 13. I'm talking about an all-out attack. So where every time they see something, is dealing with the God stores. Everywhere, everywhere you turn is dealing with the God stores. Everywhere. And no one is left behind in this. We're all going to be very wealthy. The thing is, is that our currency is kindness. That's what they're not going to know. We're not really dealing with money. We're just dealing with the money so that we can get the power, the economic power. We don't care about the money. That's bullshit. My currency is kindness. Everything you ask for me, I'm doing it for free. There is no need for money in our realm. We know, our soul group knows. I should be able to call Soel and Vibe and say, what's the scoop on astrology today? Because he's been studying verdict, astrology, and numerology. What is the scoop for the day? He shouldn't be like, all right, that's going to be such and such amount of money. He should be able to give it to me for free. Same thing. I should call Z Infinity and say, hey, what's up with the, uh, you know, what's the spirit guys talking about today? And he going to the different oracles and tarot cards and he'll be able to tell me. And our currency is kind of same shit. They can be able to come to me and be like, man, we need two cases. You know what I'm saying? Z Infinity can call me and be like, man, I need three cases of that alkaline water that you got that we bottling up and baking under the sun and shit. And it's free. We send it to him. Same shit. So Lil Vibe might be like, look, man, I need, you know what I'm saying, $10,000 because I'm getting ready to start this raw fruit as board. I need the guy starts to come and help us, you know what I'm saying, get this shit off the ground. Man, no problem. We're going to come with $20,000. We even going to come with a team of people just to get the shit cracking. We going to put a, uh, you know what I'm saying, some conscious music up in there. We might even have an open mic one night. You know what I'm saying? We going to get this shit cracking. Money ain't nothing to us. Our currency is kindness. You know what I'm saying? We all going to have nice cars, nice homes, all of that. Because we got to be treated like the royalty that we are. We have to be. We have to be treated like the royalty that we are. We have to be. We have to be treated like the royalty that we are. So, you know, I call you God. I call you goddess because you know thyself. 
and I love you and I need you to survive, but we need to start coming into this oneness consciousness. We've been dealing with duality for a long time. It's all about oneness consciousness. Don't let nobody get you back in duality. Duality is what causes density. It's what keeps you in a lower consciousness. Come back to singularity. Come back to the one consciousness. That's what brings you on your higher state of consciousness. That would allow, That's what allows you to have access to your higher senses. You see what I'm saying? Let your heart chakra open up so that that world can be exposed. Your, 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 the, most, the most powerful angels that you have live in your heart chakra. But it's, if your shit is closed up, then you ain't going to have a lot of help. Open up your heart chakra so that them angels can come out. Them spirit guides and them, 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 you know what I'm saying? Your ancestors, your angels, your animal totems, all of that live in the heart chakra. Open that up a little bit. Put some love and some light into this world. I call you God. I call you God is because you know thyself. I love you and I need you to survive, yo. You're very important to me. You're very important to me. I just feel like an overwhelming love for you right now. Almost to the point to where I feel like crying. But I'm going to contain myself. But I feel an overwhelming love for you right now. Because I see it. I see it all clearly what we need to do. We need to just go ahead and pull all our resources together. Just like in the Bible when it talked about in the book of Genesis, they scattered them all out. This is how you know that them gods up there, they trying to stay up there. They don't give a fuck about us. When we was when we started connecting it and we and we got on the one consciousness back then, we was on one oneness, one consciousness, and we started building. That's the type of the, the Tower of Babylon in the book of Genesis. The Tower of Babel. When we start building everything. And they was like, damn, they building, they they building too much. They finna reach heaven. They gonna reach heaven. They building too much. Let us destroy this temple and shit. Let's divide them and split up their tongues and all of that. That's in the book of Genesis. It's called the Tower of Babel. And that's where you get the word discombobulated, which means confusion. They confuse the tongues of the people. Put, you know what I'm saying? This man in this land, that man in that land, and this land and all of that. And that's where you get the different ethnicities. Why? But that's where you get to that. That's why you can't get caught up in the, in the racism. Why? Because we were all one then, and we were in Eden. We was we was right outside of Eden. We was in Ethiopia, and we was building together. We had one. We had that oneness, that that love, that universal love for everyone. And then we was building together, and we was building so much to where we was reaching the heavens. Look at this. This is in the Bible. It's in the book of uh, Genesis. It's called the Tower of Babel. It's in the book of Genesis. And the, and the gods up there was getting scared like, damn, they building, they finna reach where we are. They're getting a higher state of consciousness. We got to destroy this tower and, and divide the people up. So we took, you know what I'm saying, beings that were, 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 that were in Eden. I mean, that was in Ethiopia and, and, and sent them to Europe to colder climates where they started adapting to their environment. That's why they got the white pigmentation of the skin. But they still got melon. They just got a white pigmentation of the skin. Why? Because we're like chameleons. We know how to mimic our environment in order for us to survive in our environment. That don't mean that they lesser than, than me just because they got a different pigmentation of their skin. We was all one at one point. That's what we need to come back to. We need to get away from the duality and come back to the all oneness. I don't give a fuck what color your skin is. So if I was, so if I was white, I wouldn't have a chance with you because you black. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have a chance with you because you black. Same shit. Just because I'm so-called black, I don't got a chance with you because you white? What kind of stupid shit is that? Where is your mind? Just because my color is this color and your color is that color, I don't have a chance with you? You won't give me a chance because my color is this color and your skin is that skin? That shit is stupid. Look, don't leave no racist comments on my shit. Because then we can't be friends. Because how could two walk with each other unless they're in agreement with each other? I don't agree with that. I can't. You're on the other side. You're on the other side. You're on the other. You're in the other camp. You're that wounded beast that we slain. <laughs> I don't got no time for that. You're not allowed in my sphere of reality. There's no room for duality in my spirit, in my sphere of reality. 
It's all one consciousness. It's all one love. If you're not one conscious, if you're not one love, then you're not allowed in my spirit reality. Simple as that. I love you. I really love you. I really 333 love you. I really 13 love you. Like beyond words. Like beyond words. I'll show you with my actions that I love you. I really sit and take the time in this in this time space continuum in this season that I'm in to plant seeds into your life. To breathe spirit into you. To breathe life into you. To breathe yin yang energy inside of you. To give you energy. To give you energy. To give you energy from my throat chakra. To give you energy from my throat chakra. To give you energy from my heart chakra. To give you energy from my heart chakra. To give you energy from my heart chakra. Because I love you. 13. I love you beyond words. 13. And I need you to survive. 13. We got this. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not defeated. We celebrating. <laughs> they're they're terrified because the energy is in our favor. We waking up from the spell, and we getting our shit together. That's all. We're getting our shit together. So with that being said, man, you know, um, it's it's a renaissance all over again. We're Michael D'Angelo, Picasso, and you know what I'm saying all all over again. Da Vinci, we all over again. It's all over again. It's all over again. It's a need for a renaissance. Why? Because the people are dying. So we need to come and flood them with the truth. We need to come and kick the same shit. Mathematics, astrology. We need to tell them, break away from the church. Get away from that shit. Come back to nature. Get into astrology. Get into mathematics. Get into science. Get back into magic and mysticism. Use your right side of your brain. I had to develop my left hand. I use left hand and right hand. I use both hands. Because I had to develop a strong left and right side of my brain. So now I can pick up a pen and write with my left hand. Just like I can pick up a pen and write with my right hand. I fight better with my... I do I do a lot of stuff. A lot of great stuff with my left hand. I do a lot of great stuff with my right hand. I jack off with both hands. I fuck pussy with both hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but basically in my videos, right? I just I, I'm I'm just raw. I just give it to you the way it is. It's just be yourself. Don't try to be like nobody else. Be yourself. Be your authentic self. Get in the flow. Find out what your flow is and flow and just be your authentic self because you you find out that just being yourself. Lord Lord Natchez gave put to, put me up on game. He said when when you just be yourself. Then you, you begin to realize that other people will just start gravitating towards you because you just yourself. And when you yourself, you're just natural. You're just natural energy. You're just pure energy. You're not a fabricated energy. You're just yourself. And that's what's going to attract people. The confidence to be yourself. That's going to radiate. Just vibrate on the frequency that you was called to vibrate on. That's it. All that other shit, man, that shit is a matrix. I'm not trying to be like Tupac. I'm not trying to be like Elvis Presley. I'm not trying to be like none of them. I'm trying to be like me, Lord Yukiri Osai, Anu Ra, Elohim, Miramor, El Sadai, Van Kim Akashic Goddess. You know what I'm saying? More power, more light. God. Nega God. Super Nega God. Mathematics. Whatever name I put on my shit. Whatever name I give myself, because those names equate to a certain vibrational frequency, a certain wave. The Nega God represents protection. When I say Nega God, when I say I'm 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 the Nega God, I'm a, I'm the protector. That's what Nega means, protector. When I say I'm a more, that means I'm I'm a navigator. I navigate into different consciousness. When I say more power, that means my I'm, I'm, my navigation is powerful. When I say more light, my navigation is light. When I say more love, that means my navigation is love. 
these these words, these names are just frequencies. That's why I told you, drop the government name. I mean, drop the slave name, that wounded beast that we slain, and get a God name. When I say Lord Utiliosai, I'm carrying a frequency. Lord means teacher. Lord means noble, nobility. You got to have some kind of nobility in your name. If you want to be treated like a royalty, you got to proclaim yourself as being royal. Drop, put some no nobility in your name. Lord means noble. Nobility. It means teacher. It means wisdom. It means sovereign, free. It means a number of different things. All of the different, you look at the old systems and you see the noble ones, they called themselves, that was a normal term. They all called themselves Lord. Lord such and such. Lord so and so. Uh, uh, noble so and so. Noble families call themselves Lords. Lords and barons and and, and dukes and all of that. Lords. That's why he's Lord Netzer 13. That's why he's Lord Fantastic. That's why he's Lord Eukidio Sai. The Lord is nobility. You gotta you gotta put the nobility on your shit. That's why this God Storm uh, 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 Renaissance and Revolution is gonna be successful because it's needed. It's a need for it. So, so the angels are going to give you what you need. They're going to come and they're going to give you what you need. I need, the world needs this renaissance in order for them to survive. They need a renaissance. They need to wake up and know, hold on. That religion shit, that's bullshit. They need, they need to know numerology. They need to know astrology. They need to know spirit. They need to know spirit in a different way. Separate from Christianity, separate from Islam, separate from all of that shit. They need to know spirit, real spirit, real spirit, spirit. This is spirit. You feel me. Be You hear the energy behind my words. It ain't no just no, I'm not no flat ass guru just sitting here. Oh, I'm not no flat ass guru. You feel me. You hear the energy behind my words. You can tell when it's yang energy. And you can tell when it's yin energy, when you can hear me, you hear the energy. That's the thing with 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light. You, you're, you, you're, you're using your higher senses when you come to me. When you come to my channel, you're in your higher senses now. You're not just touch, taste, smell, hear, and see. Now you you dealing with different shit. You dealing with 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 the the, the heart. You 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 using a sense of your heart that, that you haven't been using before. You starting to think with your heart now. When you hear my shit, you thinking in your heart. When you hear my shit, you you see the words. It ain't like you just hearing the words. You're seeing the words. That's a higher sense that you haven't used before. That I mean that there's been dormant inside of you for a while. That's a higher sense where you starting to see the energy behind shit. That's why you got to start learning shit like the currents of energy. There's five different currents of energy. I stay well, I, I'll be able to look. I listen. I see what comes out of a person's mouth. I see the energy. If I see that that's a current of energy, I don't want to get sucked in. I see when people start talking depression. That's a depression current. I'm not going to get sucked into that current of energy. Get that shit away from me. People who talk real flat. And all of that, that poor me shit, and that real flat tone. Look, don't talk to me and none of that shit. It's a difference between, don't get me wrong, because sometimes I talk flat. I'm not talking about that. It's not, but I'm you know what I'm talking about, that flat shit to where they're draining your energy. They're not giving you no information. They're not people who talk flat, but with a poor me message. I can talk flat, but still stimulate your mind. I can talk flat and still give you give you information information is energy information equates to energy i'm informing you i'm stimulating parts of your brain i'm informing you i'm stimulating you know what i'm saying that's that equates to energy so i can talk flat and still give you energy i can still energize you talking flat but people who talk flat with a certain kind of a certain kind of hurts you gotta watch because listen you gotta pay attention to hurts 15 to 25 hertz tone tone tonation the tone a projection of a tone of a person's voice deals with shame 25 i mean uh uh uh, uh 25 to 30 
hurts a certain tone when a person talks deals with greed. I mean guilt. Certain tones deal with certain shit. 25 to 35 tone of a person's voice deals with hurt. All of this shit. To, uh, 25 to 50. I mean, uh, yeah, 25 to 50 deals with fear. That's why they want you to go. Don't go above the speed limit 50, because they want you in that frequency of fear. That's why every time you go to a, a motel where a lot of sex and low vibrational sex and shit happens at, they always got a speed limit right there, and the speed limit is say 30, because it's dealing with shame and guilt. That's the frequency that's in that geographical location. Shame and guilt. For lack of knowledge, God's people are perishing. So when I when people talk to me, I look in, I listen to the energy behind their words to, to determine whether or not I want to continue to allow that shit in my sphere of, of, of reality. Because you can't put that energy into my house. Right now, I'm in the paradigm that I'm building called the God Store Renaissance, the God Store Revolution. This is a paradigm. This is a house that I'm in right now, mentally. This, that's what space I'm in right now. I'm in the space of the God Store Renaissance. I'm in the space, I'm in the paradigm or the mini mansions or the room or the house of the God Store Revolution, the God Store Renaissance, the God Star Media Group. That's what space I'm in right now. So if a person comes into my sphere of reality and they start talking, they're trying to put energy, they're trying to put their energy into my house. Into my space, into my paradigm that I'm in right now. I'm in the paradigm of the God Star Media Group. So if when the person talks and if I'm listening to the, the energy behind their words and they're trying to put negative energy, evil, uh, demonic energies into my home, I'm going to protect my shit. I'm going to say, hold on, man, cut that right there. I don't want to save that shit. Get that shit out of my sphere of reality. You know what, man? You know, um, I can't help you. Get out of here. You're not welcome into my house. That's it. Don't get caught up in the body. That's that's the whole thing about making a shift of consciousness is that you can't get caught up in the body. You got to forget the body and deal with the wave. You got to deal with the frequency. What wave is he vibrating on right now? What frequency is he right now? And what paradigm are we in? Right now, the paradigm that I'm kicking to you, right? The paradigm I'm in, the house, not the body, but the house that I'm in right now is a house called God Star Media Group. And in this house, the only energy that's allowed into this house is loving energy, light energy. If somebody comes in here with some depression shit, you can't get out of my house. I'm not dealing with them like they're coming into my real physical house. I'm dealing with them like they're trying to come into my paradigm. Get out of my mind. Get out of my house. Don't put that energy into my house. You got to protect your paradigms. Like earlier today, somebody tried to tell me, did I know you? You know what I'm saying? Blood. Which means he was trying to get, he was using the slang blood, like blood brother or blood cousin or blood, blood. Hey, what's up, blood? Don't I know you? Didn't you let me use your phone? Didn't I see you at a Howard courthouse? Nah, you don't know me, blood. You can't put that energy into my house. Get out of my house with that shit. I don't know you. I never knew you. I never let you use my phone. I'm Lord Yukili Osai. Have you ever been introduced to Lord Yukili Osai? No. No, I don't know you, dude. I know for a fact I don't know you. And you don't know me. You're not putting that energy into my house. Get that shit out of my house. You're not allowed to, 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 to try to lodge in my house. You're not allowed to squat on my property. Get out of my shit. You're not allowed to squat on my property. Stop looking at the human being. Fuck the body. The body ain't shit. It's the paradigm. In my father's house, there's many rooms, many mansions. The mansion that I'm in is God Store Media Group. That's the paradigm I'm in right now. And when I interact with people, I'm not allowing that energy to come into my house. I'm protecting my shit. This is a no welcome. You see the no what? You're not welcomed. I don't have a mat that says you're welcome in front of my house because you're not welcomed. My shit says you're not welcomed. Only I can invite you into my house. Get out of my house with that shit, dude. I don't know you. I never knew you. And you've never been formally introduced to Lord Yukili Osai. Blood. Don't try to give life to that shit. I don't know you. We're not friends. <laughs> We're not brothers and none of that shit. Blood. I don't give a fuck if you got the same color. Can sag your pants and use, and use a little slang and profanity. Blood. No, I don't know you. No, I've never, no, I don't know who the fuck you talking about. 
Don't try to get me in some density or try to try to come into my and try to put some energy into my house. Nah, you ain't squatting on my shit. Get your ass up out of here. Because it's a place for people like you. It's called the graveyard where I kill you. That's the place for people like you. It's, it's, it's called I will kill you if you trespass any further. It means you will die. I will kill you and be justified because I sponsor murder. I'm not guilty when it comes to murder. Karma only works when it's guilt. There's ways to escape karmas. Karma ain't no fixed law. I said one time that karma was a fixed law. Karma ain't no fixed law. You can beat karma. I'm going to do a video how to beat karma. I'm going to talk about different stones, different, different metals, different days, different colors. It's all kind of ways to cheat karma. You can change your name and get into a different vibrational frequency and beat karma. It's all kind of ways to beat karma. Karma ain't no fixed law. So, man, my team winning. God Star Media Group, we winning. It's absolutely nothing that we can't do with numerology, astrology, you know what I'm saying? With 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 uh, uh spirit oracles, with information from the oracles, with different body, light bodies, beings who are not afraid. With nature beings who've been in nature, we it's, it's no way that we can lose. It's no way that we can lose. And all of that Hollywood is, is sold up by evil, man. That shit, I, look, this is a free world, free choice universe. You can do whatever you want to do in this world. If you want to go to college, you can go to college. If you want to get a degree, you can get a degree. If you want to open a business, you can open up a business. I don't give a fuck where, what they telling you. This is a free world, free choice universe. You can do whatever you freely will and whatever you freely choose. You can do it. Nothing, no demonic force or principality has power over you unless you give them power. Stop giving your power to these motherfuckers and stop putting your energy into their paradigms to keep their shit alive. Take your power back. 13. Take your power back. 13. So we have a place, we have a compound, we have a, a home base for God Star Media Group. We have a base. The next step is to start. Uh, um, another brother told me that he was going um that he was going to start um sending me beats. He said that he got a home studio and he finished start sending me beats. He said he'd send me as many beats as I need. That's another step. The next step is that I want to ask. Do you have, um, do you have legal information that you can give us? I'm looking for a legal entertain, uh, 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 entertainment lawyer. Beings who have, who who are all about love and light, though. Beings who have information on on um on um the legal aspects of running a a, a record label. That's the information I'm looking forward to. I'm looking ahead to get. Not for it, because I'm not, we breaking free from the ward, from slavery. Freedom from slavery, all day long. Pardon me, free me, pardon me, you know what I'm saying? So with that said, you know, I love you when I need you to survive, man. It's all about love and light right now. Our team is winning. Our team is winning. All of that shit. Oh, they ain't gonna play your shit, man. The radios are sold up by evil. No. This is a free, real, free choice universe. I know how to use my angels. My angels will get my my, my records played on, on the radio. My angels. My angels will get my, 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 my records played on the radio. My angels will get my movies... And in them, in them film festivals. Period. My angels work for me. I know how to use my angels. I know how to use my spirit guides. I know how to use my animal totems. Period. I'm looking for artists. I'm looking for rappers. I'm looking for um uh rock uh rock and roll artists. I'm looking for I'm looking for rappers and R and B. That's what I'm looking for right now. If you can sing very good, if you can rap very good and you have a metaphysical background, if you just want to rap, 
You know what I'm saying? And just try it. it. But but you know that you can do it though. If you can rap to somebody else's shit, then you can rap your own shit. You just need the script. You know what I'm saying? If you want to become a rapper, then then contact me. You know what I'm saying? Send me a video with you rapping something. And then we'll go from there. You know what I'm saying? And and you you must be willing to relocate. Like, like you know, you must be willing to relocate because we're going to relocate to Florida. That's the objective. We're going to move to Florida. Florida. That's the objective. We're going to move to Florida. In one central location. You know what I'm saying? You have to be willing to relocate. And you have to be willing to work. Just like if you was to, to, to relocate to go get a job, if Walmart told you, here, come over here, we're going to hire you, we're going to take you over here to, to such and such, and, and you know what I'm saying, we're going to give you this amount of same shit, you'll relocate for a job, you wouldn't relocate to re reposition yourself to be in a, in a, in a situation where, where you can be treated like the king or the queen that you are. So yeah, we're going to relocate, we're going to go to, you know what I'm saying, Florida. And we gon' we gon' we gon' get our shit together. We gonna get our shit together. So I'm looking for about I'm looking for about ten beings. Ten beings who is ready to make this step. One one being contacted me and he was asking me questions about um artwork. What kind of scissors and stuff can he put in his art? And that's what really inspired this video. I said, you know what, I might as well make it transparent so that everybody can see. You know what I'm saying? So I I I, I um, I messaged him, but at the same time, I wanted to get the same information to everybody else because I'm a firm believer right here at 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light that everyone has a right to see and everyone has a right to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So I just went ahead and made the video to make the shit transparent. And, and meanwhile, I had the racism issue on, on my mind because dude was kicking some racism shit, duality. And I had to, uh, and I just, and I went back and I decided to, you know what I'm saying, go ahead. And, and, and put the real out there to put the truth out there because racism is a matrix So I just I just want to make it transparent so that everybody can see it and know what's really going on And with that being said, you know, what I'm saying I just think that it's very important for us to stay mindful of these things To stay mindful of these things To stay mindful of these things because that's how we stay ahead You have to stay ahead if you want to win you have to stay ahead. You can't be a reactionary player you can't you can't wait for them to make a move and then you respond to that shit. That's reactionary. You're reacting to something that they created. You gotta you can't be a reactionary player in this in this realm that we're in right now. Not in this time space continuum. You gotta get on the offense. You gotta change modes on their ass. You can't be a defensive player no more. You gotta be an offensive player. You gotta you gotta create matrices and put them motherfuckers in matrices. You gotta put them in the box. You gotta be out of the box. You got to put them in the box. You got to be an offensive player. You can't even be a player. We're living in a time space continuum where you can't even play the game no more. You got to create the game. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about reinventing this shit. Reinventing it. They say don't don't reinvent the wheel if the if it works don't 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 fix it. If it, if it's not broke don't fix it. Nah. I'm not talking about fixing shit. I'm talking about recreating something. With don't re don't why would not why wouldn't I not why would I not reinvent the wheel? Why do I gotta use their wheel? Why I can't reinvent? Why I can't create my own wheel? I don't gotta use their wheel. I can reinvent their wheel and I can create my own wheel. It's not about being a player in the game. It's about creating the game and making their guys play the game. That's what it's about. It's about creating the game and making them play it. That's what this is all about. It's about strategically getting ahead. It's about strategically gaining momentum. It's about strategically taking over. It's a takeover plan. It ain't no, it ain't no, it's time for taking over shit. It ain't no time for, 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 for playing small. It's time for making a loud ass noise. For making a huge impact. It's time for going over and beyond. You got to go over and beyond the call of duty. That's what I'm talking about. You got to go over and beyond the call of duty. That's what it is. If you made a contract to come into this world. To put five kids in this world. And, and become a janitor at a school. Right? And you got five kids. 
and you're a janitor at a school, you fulfilled your calling. But now we're in a time space continuum where it's a lot of energy on the planet now. It's time to go over and beyond the call of duty. Put 10 kids in the world and start a janitorial business. You know what I'm saying? Go over and beyond the call of duty. You're not only a janitorial, but you but you started a business and you're employing all kind of janitors. Go over and beyond the call of duty. You want to be a part of a, 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 a real love and light family? That's going to really rule the world? The real elites? The new elites? And the real elites? The old energy. I'm talking about the old religion. We got the old religion. Remember in the church songs? I'm, the old religion. That, remember that song? The old religion? We got the old religion. The old religion is numerology, astrology, oracles, spirit guides, nature, animal totems. That's the old religion. We ain't in this new shit. They talking about the new wave. This ain't no new wave. Nothing. This is all old religion. This ain't new wave. Nothing. It's new to them. This ain't new to us. We been kicking this astrology, sacred geometry, numerology. We been kicking animal totems, coming back to nature. This ain't new to us. It's new to them. When you talk about the elites, the motherfuckers ain't elite. We're the elites. They inherited power. They inherited power that they didn't get themselves. They didn't have to make sacrifices to those deities. The Leviathan and all of them. They didn't have to sacrifice to the Leviathan. They didn't have to play, play, pledge a certain allegiance and do all kind of they inherited that power they came into power that's why they don't know the esoteric knowledge that we have they don't know this shit they don't even know they shit they just know how to keep their shit in place and they losing it they don't even know how to keep their shit in place that's why we taking over ain't no new wave nothing all of this been here this is the old religion this is the shit that they kept from us that we're no longer allowing them to keep from us the shit that they, it's like if you tell a kid you can't have the ice cream, you're going to make them go grab the ice cream. It's like, it's like, it's like if I'm sitting outside and I'm telling you I'm hungry and you going into this restaurant and you ain't buying me nothing to eat. And I go in the restaurant and I ask the restaurant owners, man, I'm hungry. Could you please give me something to eat? And they keep on telling me, no, you a bum. Get out of my restaurant. How many times, how many days do you think I'm actually going to sit in front of that restaurant asking for some food? It's going to be, I'm hungry, could you please, please spare some change, sir? Or, I'm hungry, sir, could you please just spew, please spare a burrito? It's going to go from singing that song to, I'm getting real hungry. Could you please spare some change? It's going to go from singing that song to, man, I'm telling you, I'm getting hungry, man. I'm telling you, restaurant owner, man, please give me some food, man. I'm telling you, it's going to go from singing that song to, Fuck picking the lock, I'm busting out the window. You know what I'm saying? I'm busting out the window, climbing in this motherfucker. I'm getting the money and the food now. Now I'm singing this song because you deprived me for a long time. I've lived in deprivation. You've deprived me from things that I'm that I am supposed to have. Needs that are that are, that, that 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 are supposed to be met for me. I am the king. I am the Nephilim. I am the god. I am the queen. I am the Nephilim. I am the goddess. You've been depriving me of my royalty. You've been depriving me of my nobility. You've been depriving me of my respect. You've been depriving me of my of my throne. You've been depriving me, you know what I'm saying, of my sovereignty. You've been depriving me of my of my royalty. You've been depriving me of my power. And I'm not living in deprivation no more. Fuck picking and lock. I'm busting this window out. I'm coming in this motherfucker. I'm taking your life. I'm taking his food and I'm taking the money. That's what that's the song that we're singing right now. That's the song that we're singing right now. It went from I'm hungry, could you please give me something to eat? It went from begging to taking. That's why I respect that 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 song with Tupac when he said, Take money. Yeah, man, I'm we taking this shit now. Ain't no get money, make money. It's take money. We're taking it now. I did a video, I told y'all, I, I love watching people. Who rob banks. Movies with people who rob banks. I root for the bad guy. In every movie I root for the bad guy. Kill a government. Kill, I mean kill a police. Kill all of the, kill all of the motherfuckers. Kill them all. Kill everything. Kill the wounded beast that we slain. 
They ain't the government. We the government. Kill a wounded beast that we slam. Kill a police. They ain't the force. You the force. So I'm, take that money. Take it. You root for the police to kill him? Why you ain't root for him to kill the police? You got to switch that shit around. They doing what they supposed to do because they deprived. They not going for this shit that you going to take my... You going to take my sovereignty from me? I'm finna come and take this money. And your life if you get in my way. That's the shit. That's the... Them, I love watching the movies. I love watching the bad guy. I want to make some movies where the bad guy wins. I want to make a movie where the bad guy wins. Featuring the 13th son. Featuring, you know what I'm saying, Z-Infinity. Featuring Lord Nectar. Featuring Kevmir. Featuring Maria Thogernays. Featuring Dragonfly Z Immortal. Featuring, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Soleil Vibe. Featuring my God Star. My God, my Elohim Soul Group. Featuring my team. Featuring uh, 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 Kishi32. Featuring, you know what I'm saying, featuring my, my soul group. Featuring, you know what I'm saying, my soul group. I want to I wanna do a movie featuring the, the actual beings who are a part of my soul where the actual bad guy wins. Where the so-called bad guy wins. Really, really getting the best of the, of the wounded beast that I'm slaying. I want to do movies like that. I want to do movies that show shit the way it really is. Change the game. It's all about changing this shit. Showing people what's really going on. Showing the police for being the scary ass motherfuckers that they are. Showing, showing these beings down here how real powerful they are. How they don't have to give up their power to the gut to the to the wounded beast that we slain. I want to do movies exposing how weak this this wounded beast really is that we slain. I want to do movies exposing how weak they ass is, how afraid they are, how much control we really have as as being. You know what I'm saying? Beings down here. Putting light codes and numerology and, you know what I'm saying, color schemes and all kind of astrology and all kind of shit and, and numerology and shit in the movie so people can watch it. It stimulates and wakes it up and unlocks DNA inside of people so that they can wake up. Real movies. Real movies. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I really appreciate breakout movies like Harry Potter. You know what I'm saying? All of that shit, Harry Potter, all of them Harry Potter movies, all of them, all of the magic movies, all of that, all of that, I respect the movies. I respect all of them breakout movies that's telling shit the way it really is. All of that. All of that. I'm talking about doing movies like that. P putting it out there. Putting it out there. This is what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what's going on. This is what's going on. Movies like 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 Twilight Zone with the vampires and shit. He was really telling people. I mean, it's really vampires. That shit is real. You telling people what's really going on. Don't tell them all the stupid ass shit. Tell them what's really going on. Let the motherfuckers see. Let them see. Let them see. I want to do a movie where you put the motherfucking police on his knees and you put the gun to his head and make that motherfucker scared. Make them give you, give me your power, motherfucker. Give me your, who's the, I'm the force. Give me your power, motherfucker. I want to, I want to, I want to do movies where they make the police look scared. So that you can realize that they ain't got no force. You got the force. The force is yours. Don't somebody break into my house. I'm not calling no police. I'm going to kill a ass. Ain't no calling the police. Ain't no calling the police. What am I call the police for? There ain't no force. The universal force is inside of me. I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to gladly take care of this problem. Because listen, this is going to be a message to all you other motherfuckers that think that you can come to my house. This is what's going to happen to your ass. You're going to die. You're going to get your head cut off and hand it to your ass on the platter. And hand it to their ass on the platter. That's going to be an example right there. That's going to be the first demonstration. That's going to be the first demo. I'm Look, everybody else going to know, don't fuck with him. You don't want to, you do not want to rob that house. You can't rob that house. Because listen, in his absence, 
His kids will come and kill your ass. Because his kids is militant. And in their absence, his wife going to come and kill his wives. Because I believe in polygamy. I'm going to have multiple wives. His wife should come and kill your ass. One of them. You're not. Even the women. Even the kids is militant. Ain't no calling no police. It's you're not allowed on this property. Period. It's at your own risk. Because your life will get killed. That's what time it is. So we have a team. We have a team of elite, elite, real elite. You know what I'm saying? Real elite light workers. Merkaba light workers. Real elite Merkaba light beings. I have a team of Buddhists that I, that I work with that banishes demons. They banish demons. I'm talking about going to a concert and not only putting information in people's minds, but banishing demons in the crowd at the same time. <laughs> I'm talking about real takeover shit, man. Life changing shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Life changing shit. We could just pull our resources together. That's what it is. It's all about building the, the Tower of Babylon again. And this time they can't destroy our shit because we ready for them. This time they ain't going to be able to destroy our shit because we ready for them. You know what I'm talking about? So I don't get into all that duality. Get away from people that try to get, create duality in your life. Get away from that. Because those beings, those beings are trying to keep you on your lower senses. They don't want you to reach your higher senses. They don't want you to amplify. They don't want you to become crystallized. They don't want you to be your authentic self. They don't want you to have your superhero abilities. They don't want you to succeed. As long as you worshiping them, as long as you giving your power to them, as long as you, you respecting them, as long as you keeping them in power, then they cool with you. The moment you challenge them, the moment you put your foot on their ass, the moment you start walking around here like Nephilim, get your shirt off intimidating their ass, that's when that's when things start changing. That's when life starts getting better for you. You gotta make I make their ass scared. I intimidate I make them scared. I, I purposefully intim intimidate their ass. Just to change the vibrations of the world. I purposefully, on purpose, intimidate their ass. Just to change the vibrations of the world. Because I don't care, man. Because I know I'm unstoppable. I know that it's absolutely nothing can happen. It's over. My angels, my spirit guides, everything is around me. I know how to use my angels. I know how to use my spirit guides. Nega, 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 God. Nigga, 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 God. I love you when I need you to survive. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13